Let's get it, baby. First oh, match yeah. of the Let's night. Oh my God, look at that, two Rios already? Yeah, we playing the cheap stuff. Oh yeah, you, uh, for all of you that have been keeping up with uh, current events in the SNK land, there has definitely been a shocker of a patch, depending on who you're playing, yeah, that just recently boy. came out. Ready? And Rio players yeah. are feasting yeah. after much waited to do, after much ado, much waiting, and much, much patience. Because the player Rio, you used to have incredible patience, but now, we on some gorilla style. Those big arms ain't just for show, baby. Not at all. Big damage, big arms, big range, as you can see right here. EX Fireball to the dome. Oh my god, big whiffing already. Bobby Baloney with the black Rio. Gonna get the new stand. EX, oh no, no, EX juggle there. Keeping it safe. I refuse to believe Bobby Baloney is the real name of this person. There's no way. Because first of all, first of all, they're fighting a Mexican, they're fighting them well. Okay, and that's that's something <laughs> because I mean, we all know that KOF really belongs to to the Mexicans in the in the. Uh, would it be the the Taiwan uh, the the, Ty the land of Taiwan now? You can say you can say Asia as a whole. I mean KOF around the world uh, has a ton of strong players here. Latin America, no stranger to being some of the best. But hey, man, don't sleep on the U.S. All right, Rome himself lives out here right now. Bobby Baloney, one character up on AR Markio. You got Gato coming in. And I've seen Marco do uh, dangerous stuff with this character, even in Garo. He used Gato, so we didn't get to see what he does here. It's the palm confirmed. Also, shout outs already. Sol Solo Fair 74, uh, excuse me. Hope you're saying correctly with the sub. Thank you. A little bit of back and forth here. Marco trying to get some ground, definitely building it. Trying to work on that Rio, but from Bobby Baloney, but Bobby Baloney sitting on a stick and a half. Yep, and that was a very good guard cancel roll and punish. Knew he was gonna go for the fireball string. Remember folks, fireball strings, for the most part, are not real in this game. Use your meter to get out and punish. Ah, yes. One of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. And again, you know, that shocker. Yeah, that's your boy, right? Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. With, with the Nike Come text on now. <laughs> Three boys stick together, chest uh, out, all that, all that. You know what I'm saying? All right, right now he getting stomped on though by this Gato, trying to fight out the corner. Okay, there we go. Iron triggers out. Still nuts. Ooh, almost died. Shadow Strike no, too far. Oh, no team. punish on the Shatter Strike. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Stand and Heavy Punch would work. They did nerf it in this match though. I think it's like two frames slower, but you know, you never, you never know what's going to Yeah, because I mean, that was a Shatter Strike, right? Which is easily one of the most like unsafe moves in the game. For sure, for sure. But we get our next crack. Free chiropractic adjustment right there. Neo Markio is uh, one more character away from winning this round. All right, Markio paying dividends right now with that Gato, getting a lot of healthy miles here. This is your boy, actually. Of course. He's uptown in the building with the with the swag, with the coat. Oh, with the fur coat, getting ready for winter? Stalin, uh -huh. Oh, missing the poison, it looks like, though. So. Those good damage, as you can see, those Macharino codes are starting to uh, file in. You already go, no, guys, hit that exclamation mark. Macharino, click the code, takes a few seconds. Let's get it in there. But Shadow Strike uh, again. That had to have been the fourth one? In, in literally a minute's time, Markio has cranked out at least three Shatter Strikes in that exchange across two characters. And the and, and third time's a charm, clearly. Facts. I mean, put the mechanics to use, you know what I'm saying? Put them to use. Also, Crimson and Kenna, thank you so much for the prime as well. We got the anchor matchup in the first game here, Yuri versus Yamazaki. Even in meter, but not in health. We're gonna see whose spirit reigns supreme here. Bobby Baloney, last ditch effort. Gotta be careful. Oh, try to, try to put the cap there. And Bobby Baloney getting slapped up like the ham on Thanksgiving Day. You gotta get a slap it up real quick before you throw it in the oven. That's crazy. But that's all right, because the beautiful thing is that Baloney comes in packs. We always got another slice coming up. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Bobby's got coming up on this next round, on this next game. Yeah, Remember, might folks, need this to... is pools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, might uh might need to add a little more spice to that bologna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely need some seasoning for sure. Remember folks, this is pool, so games are best of three. Person who wins uh two games first moves on in the bracket. Mm -hmm. Oh, try to whip Mr. That, that stands strong there. Yo, I've seen parry so much and I still get hyped. <laughs> Whenever I see it land, 
I just, oh, okay. What we got coming up? You know, I get. I, Ooh, got, I like that. Me tag. Yeah, need to be set up for the baloney, man. Oh, no, drop the confirm. Yeah, Mark Yosimo's butt in the water now. He's definitely being the aggressor in this set here. Looking to close out this first round. KOF is one of those games where momentum can very easily just get, just go away, just run away from you. The, sometimes all just that one round, that one game is all you really need. And Markio doing really well with the information that was presented to him. Yeah, play, the, play the slow game the first time, feeling out the other Rio. Oh, missing the link a little bit too far. Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie, uh, dropping, that, uh, dropping that EX there. You got to put the extra input, extra seasoning. Mm -hmm. Wasn't ready yet. Can still close this out, though. Has to play this as best as he can. Both these characters are uh, two really strong ones. Okay, let's see what he can do. Should be able to. No, no, no. One more setup is going to be All right, and I like that from Bobby. Understanding that Markio wants to sit on that meter because Gar Cancel does take a bar. And as a Rio player, that bar is precious. Mm. Nice answer right there. Uh, crouching heavy punch anti air for the win. Uh, but yeah, and, and you know what? He's also been very aware of Markio's shatter strikes too, right? So he's been he's been slowing it down, being a little bit more you know conservative with how he moves. That's how you want to approach. All right, good stuff there. Bobby Baloney still fighting, staying strong. But this Gato was the problem child of the last game. We're gonna see how uh, Bobby here adjusts. Yo, no, with the DP cancel, beautiful read there from Markio. Commitment. I love to see it. All right, let's go. Oh, try to, try to go for the cute stuff there. The, the blackout to the other side. But okay, wake up, BP. Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Another one. Should be it from here. One more. To, yeah, jump to B to trade. Uh, excuse me, to uh, air to air and uh, win completely. All right, here we go. Gato. Business as usual. Shades of game one here. Oh, good punish there, but no dice on the uh, super cancel. Yeah, rolled right into it. Wow, that was a deep jump in. But fortunately for Baloney, did not get a clean punish. Pressure is on, though. Yeah, Baloney's trying to do their best to contain Markio, right? But like you said, Markio, the shark in this in this case, just constantly finding those angles. <laughs> Try to go for it There's another one. Crank it out. Use it if you got it. Yeah. Unfortunately, didn't hit. Gonna lose some meter there. Gonna keep him alive just a little bit longer. Try to catch him on the back end with the EX Snake Strikes. What is Gato? I mean, uh, Yamazaki gonna do a little bit of health. Empty low, and that should be it, Jacker. And Bobby Baloney is looking like pulled pork right now as Markio moves on 2 0 in the set. Beautiful, beautiful game there. Turn him into barbecue brisket? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, we eating good tonight, folks. Remember, we got a whole night of KOF action listed for you all. See, I'm so used to thinking of Shadow X when I think of Clark. But here we go. We're going to have Angel <laughs> and Geese Howard, uh, two winners of the patch here, especially Geese. A lot of people are pegging Geese to be top one in the game. And I could see it. I mean, look at him. He's draped in green. That's the money colors. He's trying to win this tournament. We'll see. Yeah, and don't forget, though, Angel actually came across with some, some benefits herself this latest patch. You know, Angel player has been asked for something anything they they think that she didn't have enough and now they got some so definitely looking forward to seeing this new and improved angel these new and improved characters oh, got a lot, of, a lot of freshness on the screen for sure yeah gotta be hard to contest geese geese buttons some of the best in the game super fast really high angle they can answer a from multiple points it's gonna be a little bit hard for that to happen, but we got the classic Yuri Yagami, uh, the true Mexican hero, if you will, um, coming up to the stage today. Gets two throws. Shout out to Pachu. Of course. We love you, baby. Okay. Let's go for a record. Doesn't complete it. Oh, that's a punish. Could have been, uh, but no. All right, good jump CD there. Catching that air there. That was cute. That was an option select right there. It's so nice. Nice frame track. Yep, and this is classic Eordi stuff, right? Getting those frame traps, playing that spacing game, throwing that taco. You know? No, it is Tuesday. It do be mm -hmm. Tuesday out here, so. Look at the car. Right, I, I knew there was a reason that food truck was outside my job this afternoon. <laughs> Letting you know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. now, you know you're going to watch this later, right? 
We get the 2D for the... Uh, just blowing up looks like a backdash there, so good stuff. Not a lot of time left, however, so not going to get much health back. So we're going to see how Ain handles this, uh, this Dino. Now, Dino is a character that I feel actually handles Eordi fairly well, even before the patch, just because... Dino has the ability to leap over Taco and punish with the uh, with the jump there. Not to mention, Eordi is not really able to abuse those ranges that he likes to play in, where he's just staying right outside of the range you want to poke at. Just because Dino has some pretty interesting pokes himself with the stand uh, with the stand light kick, with the stand B, you know, having the uh, the stand CD that tail, right? And then not to mention having the armored normals, having four of them. Yeah, he just woke up with them right there. And just like that, we're getting a crazy confirm all the way to the corner. Three bars. Try to go for a fake setup. My man said, I'm going to wake up super. I'm not guessing. Roll there. Fake setups all around. Hard knockdown. Ooh, I like it. I love it. This might be enough. There might be some scaling on the CD, though. Yeah, a little bit too much scaling on the blowback. Uh, but still a really good position. And that's going to be it with the low snipe into the EX swipes. Good stuff. All right, super. Getting it in with the dino. I like it. Only a meteor could kill the dinosaurs, and you're no meteor. Let you know. tell him. You tell him. Kukri confirmed, not a meteor. Why aren't more people playing this character? I will continue to push the KOD agenda. You get to be a freaking dinosaur if that doesn't get you out of your seat and that doesn't get you excited to hop and play this character i don't know what to tell you i don't know <laughs> about you but if i had an opportunity to play buzz lightyear in in, in the fighting game of my choice Not buzz lightyear playing him he could be bottom one i have wings what are you talking about do you see this drip you see this paint job come on son I'm sure Cronin has sent people to the moon before. He might count. But here nah, we go. You, 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 you need the drip, son. You need, you need the uniform. The Without Ooh. the uniform, it doesn't matter. For sure. Catch him on the back end. Safe jump set up there. Cute stuff. Yeah, we're seeing Kane Ooh. bust out the on hell. I like it. Ooh, caught him just like that. Okay. Another knockdown here. And I like that Kane's opting not to spend the meter here, trying to get the job done while hanging on to those resources, because we all know the star of the show there was the dinosaur. Even though Geese got a lot of mileage done there, it was the dino that finished things out. And using that EX there again, keeping it conservative, working on that health, and that is beautiful stuff there, because now Kane has the resources to contend with dino, because dino's coming in on almost two bars already. Mm-hmm. Actually, closing on a two for each other. Uh, this is going to be a good matchup here. You don't see this quite often uh, due to the skill level it takes to play it on hell, right? She's got so many moving cogs. Doesn't even matter. Dinosaur going to clip in through with the two C. Uh, the combo dropping, but still great corner position here. Super Grinius. Throw. Stays in front. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, wake up two C for the win. You know that. You know that button all too well if you're a KOD player. We Bro, love that button. He's done that at least four times. Every it's so good. Every You're a meeting, you, <laughs> Dino is a character that forces you to play correctly. If you try to do anything funky, he's going to blow it up, as you can see right there. Sure. Oh, oh trying to hit tight here with the 2C, but too, uh, too late. Nice. Good stuff there. Baiting out the wake up. Ooh, oh, there's the cross oh, up. E. Big damage, too. Big damage. Next one should do it. Stays in front again. I like that. Using Dinosaur's big suit to kind of uh, be ambiguous with the counter hit conversion. Nice. Good jump CD. Oh, he is so lucky. Kane is, you're a madman for rolling right there. Like, that was the wildest thing. But in the meantime, Makoto Fox with the raid. Shout out to you and the party at 29. That's my boy. I love you. Yo, love Makoto you. was good, my G. Long time. Long time. <clears throat> That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Let's go. But here we go. Joe, the gosh. Speaking of GOATs, climax for the anti air. You love to see it. Where's Hell Pockets? Where is he at? He needs to watch this. He needs to see this. Should be it. Yep. He's gonna keep it simple. Literally building back them resources. Joe Higashi again. Another character I feel like people are big sleep on, man. This character is so good. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Joe, another character that has pretty much just stayed consistent throughout the entirety of the game's life here. Even through uh, multiple adjustments, you know, because in the beginning he had those those really silly uh, touch of death combos, but even still, you know, he didn't really need it because he always has such a strong kit to start with. And speaking of strong kits, we got Kukri in the mix. Speaking yeah. of mix, you see that happening right yeah, now. Yeah, enforcing, enforcing, uh, enforcing <laughs> the bl a blender of his own there, pushing the button. Good God, that was literally a two-touch kill right there. Good stuff. K49 keeping it competitive, baby. One, one across the board. And this is like the second match, guys. Like, what is going on here? But I, I could always say that, but it is TNS. Every single week, you guys get the best of the best around the world, duking it out here online for your viewing pleasure. Oh, absolutely. And don't worry, folks, we are moving right on ahead in the bracket here. Uh, just a quick bracket update. Off stream, Creaky Axe is up on El Dogor, one game to zero. So we might get some 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 surprising Yo, upsets tonight, folks. Go, Creaky, go, go. Hey, listen, Creaky be working. He Let's be go, working. Uh, throw. And, and the funny thing about Angel, she's a character like... I feel like it's not a bad idea to roll her in a lot of like, situations. Roll can be bad, but like just to get out of her stuff, right? Like it would be very helpful. But right now we got the pressure from Geese up until that point, of course. Yeah, and, and you know, the roll option definitely not a bad one in that case, just because of how much recovery An Angel has on so many different moves. And then not to mention for all of her mix-ups, mm. it's a guess, it's as much a guess for her as it is for the opponent. So definitely forcing them to change up the setups. You see, uh, Super Grana Grinus is still rolling, even at a health deficit, still continue to roll because again, you're forcing Kane to make these decisions, to change it up on the fly. Oh, and, oh here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's get the throw. Still in a good, a good position to kind of steal these back. He just needs one solid hit with a light kick to go on to the record. Keeping it simple uh, and eats a throw. It's a stand heavy punch that would have been a throw, excuse me. All right, way to hang on there by Kane, but Super Grania is getting some good mileage there, wearing down to Angel. Two bars for each. And, and again, you know, speaking to Kane's uh, resource management, being able to maintain those resources for all the rest of the match. And that is quite impressive because as an Angel player, you want to get rid of them as quickly as possible because with all mixed up characters, eventually they're gonna figure it out, right? But sure. Kane is so confident in their game plan that they they don't, they feel like they don't need it. Like they're just gonna continue to do what they need to do and only really opting to spin meter when they're using EX moves. Yeah, beating another throw. And Super Grinius actually, two throw situations. Whoa, throw shot you could have killed. Kill. Yeah, no, you know what though? She did a lot of work there. Took a character and a half out. So not a bad situation for Kane49. He's coming in here uh, with some solid bar and he has a Yori. So literally only needs to get one to two touches to uh, to kind of wrap this up as fast as possible. Oh, there we go. You get the optimized starter here. Oh, Ooh. thought they were going to side switch. Didn't get it. We're getting the tricky stuff here. Into the pile driver. Nice, nice attempt for the cross up. That was deep. Right, just kind of keep now this, spacing out. Mm -hmm. And this is what I was mentioning before. See that stand CD easily one of the best buttons you can use against Eordi because Eordi's like to be very mobile, right? Whether they're jumping back or jumping at you or backing up or you know, they're just always all over the screen because they like to play with the distances because they have that opportunity, they have that privilege. But Dino is a character again that forces you to play clean. Right there was late on the DP and paid for it. So good stuff there on Super Grinius maintaining uh, composure and maintaining pressure because you cannot be discouraged as a KOD player at all. No, oh, no, you gotta be the one in charge, right? You gotta be the one to show your gumption just like that with the throw blowing up any attempt to get out of the corner. And I like that, immediately locking him down, putting Kukri in a jail of his own with a super That was confirm. a beautiful conversion from downtown. Oh, we getting scooped uh, now. This might be all but over here. Yeah, just gets out. He's so oh my slow. God. He's so slow. Oh my gosh. I wonder if EX Hop could have, like, if he did the EX Hop, it might have reached, right? Yes, it, that would have definitely caught it with the fact that they waited too, so the tracking would have been fine. But it's just one of those things where you see it, you want to get the full punish, because, like, why would I why would I do EX there when I could just do right, yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, Dino, not the fastest character in the game. Not even close. Not even close, no. but he's going to be dead here. 
Yeah, still still good for Grinius, though. I mean, he's coming in with a full bar, full life, Joe. Literally any touch at this point will do. He can hit a light normal, immediately go into max mode, get a sizable combo here. So it's going to be up to Kane49 to play as elusive and as annoying as pop. Whoa, uh -oh. okay. All right, Never here we mind. go. We're back at it. Disconnects. Uh, man, they have a desync issue there, but we back in it. Kukri with no meter now. Now, this is as fair as it gets. Kukri not being able to utilize the dirtier tactics that he has access to because he has no meter. Yeah. Joe pretty much can just play around with this. <laughs> is he trying to bait out Climax from Joe? I think he's trying to change his air trajectory to bait out the Climax to go over it, but he's going to end up getting himself killed doing that. Yeah, Super Green has not taken the bait there, just playing oh, there solid. It there it is. Oh, he got it. He ended up getting it. He was fishing for that. You kidding me? <laughs> he was fishing for that the entire time. Gets the low yet again. Kane no, bringing this one back. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my God! He's got the health lead. Your this is out. This person. Yo, the Why did you oh call it? God. Why? Why did you get so specific? <laughs> no. No. Oh, Tom, I, that's as far I'm gonna go with that. I can't, bro. I'm still. Uh, my, my eyes are literally watering from laughing so hard the last. I can't believe that. Oh, that's dude, that's insane. That was so insane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good bait immediately. I like that. Tamago checking the fact that Sadie Scott was gonna go for the command throw. Look at the damage already on Elizabeth. Oh, that should be a dead Benny Morrow. Yeah. Oh, Elizabeth has some of the best. Oh, oh trying to go for a reset. Yeah, she, she, has so, she has some of the best uh, Shatter Strike and just raw CD confirms in general, just because she can keep you suspended in the air with like a thousand juggles. But here we go. Clark is in the building. All right, here we go. You know, there's only like four of them, so we got to enjoy it while we can. I don't know, man. Clark might be on to come up now. He uh, he got juiced up this match. Another date. Tamago said no throws for you tonight. No hugs. Get out of here. This is looking kind of crazy. And then the third one. Okay. So listen, Scott, I'm going to need you to not hit any command threat at all, bro. Just just, just get rid of them. No more, no more throws for the rest of the night. All right. Here we go. Final character. Shotty Sadie, whatever your name is, you gotta figure it out. I believe you can do this. Four bar Yuri, it's not impossible. But the way Tamago is playing Elizabeth right now, just so well. Right, and there's a saying that I like to say, or there's a saying that I prefer when it comes to these kinds of situations, because let's let's be honest here. Tamago is a Goliath. Uh, a god in the flesh, right? And when fighting God, sometimes you just don't have enough arms. You know, it's just one of those things. Arms might be too short to box with God, right? That's the saying, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, try and giving it a good attempt right here. Just no OCB. That's all I ask. You got four bars. Don't get OCB. And Elizabeth is definitely paying dividends right now. Oh, try to interrupt with the crouch B. No dice. And no go. As Tamago comes away with game number one, a very convincing victory. Moving, moving up in the set, trying to make it a clean 2-0, but there's definitely plenty of KO to be had, and we've been seeing a lot of back and forth. So let's uh, let's check out and see uh, what's happening here on game number two. For sure, yeah, Betty, Betty is back. I'm seeing the chat say Betty's real. Yeah, she she got some changes. I know initially when the patch notes came out. Previous Betty players were not as had. They were like, they're like, oh, it is not enough. They don't, they didn't think it was too much. But I mean, Tamago is showing you right now that this character might be real. So, oh, we are fishing for too much. Tamago, a little bit patient there. Mm, mm. Juggles for days. Puts him out of the corner. Cross up jump be so nasty with it. Another confirm. One more will do at this point. Shady Scott needs to figure out an option, just getting blown up at every single attempt. Oh, Shady Scott here just trying to find the gap, trying to find an opening, and Tamago is saying no. We are closed for business. Come back next week. <laughs> Pull up next time, folks. Mm -hmm. We got Clark. Clark can definitely make something happen here. Just has to be careful. Watch the, the spacing and watch their throws, but Gonna get blown up by a reflect into level one. Okay, air throw. This is the knockdown we need it. Let's see if we can start mounting our offense here. Never mind. Oh, facing on the stand CD. This is big. 
Oh, that's it. No, not enough. He thought so. He thought that stand D was gonna be enough, but regardless, still gets the neutral jump D. We might be getting a double OCV here from Tamago. And if you're in this bracket, that is looking scary. Oh, the toe touch. Mm -mm. Yeah, another blow up. Gonna waste some resources. That's very unfortunate, though. Shady Scott lands. Yeah, Shady Scott's gonna have to figure something out here. Less resources this time around. Health is depleting as we speak. Getting real ugly. Mm, fishing for the shadow strike, but nobody home. Oh, that's that's it. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. we just run it back. And a <laughs> double OCV to Mago is not here to play games, bro. If you want to know how to win, this is the person to ask. Sheesh. Also, if you'd like to donate on your own, uh, feel free to do that. You know what I mean? Support the players. We got a good one coming up. Shadow King contra Ruben. Let's go. Right, definitely gonna be a fun matchup here. Shadow King coming back with the wake up throw. Yeah, I like how they both round start CD. Like we're we're already showing the uh, you know talk about bees right the hive mind right. We're already showing <laughs> yeah, what we yeah, do. Sharing that one brain cell. All right, Rio with the corner. Yes, anywhere juggle time. Always got that on deck when he has the bar. Uh, half a bar, excuse me. Mm. All right, good conversion there. Ruben taking the first character. Bro, why are we all not playing Rio? What is wrong with us? He boring, dog. <laughs> he do, he do be kind of white bread, you know? Like, even his character is vanilla. All he talks about, like, okay, don't get it twisted. The entire team only talks about training. But him, that's all he is. Like, he ain't got no swag. Ooh. And then if you know the actual story about this character, it just makes it worse. <laughs> the, the beef behind this character, right? Oh, no, no. Shadow Strike oh reaching the heavens. Gosh. And I love the delay on the Shadow Strike waiting his turn. Still in a per perilous position, though. A little bit of health left. The chop beats up the fireball. Let's go. Town. Ruben dropping the combo. No. no, no, no. A, he, so, so he gets the kill. So that's a bit of a setup. It's to catch tech rolls. But like, obviously, Ruben knows. So like, he wasn't tech rolling. So he wasn't taking the bait. But it's a, it's a little bit of a, a Clark setup there. Okay. So Clark mains rising up as we got the ditto here. Mm -hmm. Ruben coming in with the, with the sweep immediately and a beautiful conversion there off of the air to air. Good awareness there from Shadow King. Oh my oh. God, yeah. Two C's and free hugs, but a Frankenstein are busting it out with the hey at the end. All right, here we go. And we got a back and forth matchup, folks. It's what we like to see. A little bit of grit, a little bit of grease. Oh, you on display tonight, huh, Jackal? They said Jackal commentator. Let's use all his characters. I, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's all about the swag. It's all about the look. And most importantly, it's all about the chest muscles. Every character out here has a beautiful chest. We got King of Dinosaurs chest. We got Yashiro chest. We got uh, K-Dash chest. You got to have the chest out if you want to be if you want to be a, a superstar. Sure, he's sitting on three bars too. Again, eating another Frankenstein. I can't take too many of those, but this is gonna hurt. Actually, oh, gonna opt to keep him alive. I honestly think if he did another, oh, never mind, it's over. But I think another uh, light, like um, turn punch confirm into EX tackle would have did it. Regardless, Ruben is gonna take that first game over Shadow. All right, but that was a great match there. Definitely a lot of back and forth. Not necessarily a steamroll. We're not in bus ass territory, so so to speak. But it was definitely some moments there that, that kind of got away from Shadow King for sure. You know, the Clark setups were looking great, however. Mm -hmm. But um, again, you know, it's, it's a lot of times you see this in KOF fights where it's not even really the first character that you have to work with, worry about. It's usually the second. The anchor mm. is 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 hit or miss because some people will just pick anchors that can meter dump, right? Not necessarily sure. picking them for the sake of strategy. But that second character, I like to call that the soul character. That is the character that speaks to the player the most because it seems that that's the character that they want to keep alive the most, the longest. Mm -hmm. It's great you mentioned that too. Whenever uh, new players talk to me about like, asking me for advice or anything like that, I always tend to tell them, put your best character second. Always, at, at least at the beginning. But here we go, we're into the second round here. We got an order switch for Shadow King, putting the uh, uh, Yashiro 
on point, but again, look at the health deficit already. Nice. Yeah, but, uh, Yashido, definitely a character that functions extremely well in the point position because with less resources on the line, he can essentially get off, you know, just start bullying, like you can see here. A lot of pressure here, making it awkward for Rio, but Ruben, that veteran Ooh, play style, right knowing the ranges. Oh my god, but Shadow King, pressing the issue. Good combo there, evens up the health. Yep, the that mix. was right. This match is too sweet. What it's frame a good trap? Button, what yeah. frame trap? What are you talking about? Oh, and he got him here. This should be it. I like it. Just punching each other in the face. As you should. Yeah. Two, two, two characters right there duking it out. Clark doesn't have much left to do, though. A little bit of health left on this Yashiro. Yeah, but Yashiro, a character that can very easily deal with Clark because Clark's one of those characters that for all his big buttons, he could very easily be whiff punished himself if he's not careful. And Yashiro having that far stand C, the, the jump D, the jump CD, the stand CD, <laughs> all, the, all the big buttons there. For sure. But definitely end past tense because that man exploded, but we got a Yuri out here. Okay. Look at the corner carry he gets off that one combo. Oh, throw. great read there. Yeah. This is a lot of meter on this. Clark It's a trade. Fortunate for Shadow King that was a trade and nothing else. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You better run that clock, baby. He, he hit a raw max by accident, so it's going to go down slower. Plus, he has a damage boost. He caught the taco. Oh, no. Never mind. You can block oh, that. He dropped the punish. Oh. So much. All right. All right. All right. Time out. Time out. I don't, I don't care if they're still fighting. Time out. We need we need to clarify something. And I always say this when I'm on the mic. This is Big Mama's house. You can't disrespect Big Mama. You got to finish your plate. She cooked this beautiful meal. You can see all this, all this nutrition, all these gains that you, you could be getting, right? Look at Clark, right? Clark, Clark eating right now. That's why he looked the way he do. He just ate his plate. He just finished. Big boy, and now yeah. he and yeah, he now he chilling. That's what you call uh what they call uh Country fed, oh, yeah. farm hand, farm, farm hand strong, right? <laughs> country, country strong, something like that. Country fed, yeah. But right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting tossed into the corner. Too far for the overhead to connect. Great Clark looking like he's gonna wrap this one up soon. Yep, just wake up with the armored command. Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. We got Anchor versus Anchor, Shadow King, Ruben again. A lot of back and forth here. Ruben up a game, but if you look at the story, it has been a hard fought battle, a game of inches. Yeah, down to the wire as always here. Tries to go for a stand CD whiffs. I like that. Into jumps into the throw. Imagine throwing the Clark player, bro. That's crazy. Couldn't be me, but you gotta watch those hops over those low fireballs. Oh, that's punished. Yep. Okay. Keeps it simple. Ooh. Shadow King has to be careful. He's getting a lot of nickel and dime, but he just has to watch his damage, though. Literally anything from Ruben at this point will do it. Just fishing each other out here. Yeah, I like that the neutral being played. Both players do not want to overcommit to anything. Oh, the reactions. Let's go. No way. No way. Gonna keep him in a corner. Wake up, Mash, but nothing. Yet again, Hop CD. Just to run up throw, Shadow King is looking like this might be it. Good block on the taco. Guard cancel roll. Fireball oh, trying to read it. Oh. oh no. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. One too many times. He lived for so long. But Ruben right there just staying on top with keeping the pressure. And um, that was a very, very solid game. I love the the ending seconds of that match. Just the neutral being played. Both players not committing to anything wrong oh, robert's name Rob. i'll tell you yo Rock, so yeah. much robert in such an early time <laughs> For sure yeah but I saw, I saw robert on the screen and up top so you know <laughs> yeah, but here we go yeah violently kane one of the original kill players still rocking his character despite the changes you know but, wow that was crazy he zigged and she zagged with the cross up jump b Okay, gets to run up throw. That's kind of a, a good way to deal with Isla as well. Um, it feels like her, her pressure never ends, and she just kind of waits for you to make a mistake. So a good run uh, throw check to stop her. But the cross-up right there is going to keep him in the corner. Yeah, Isla, another character that has definitely benefited over the past year, uh, receiving a lot of buffs in the past, making her a lot more viable across the board. And Robert is paying dividends right now. Yeah, I thought that VK combo was going to drop. She was a little bit too high up, but... 
So, oh, beats the DP. That was wild. Just Robert. got the meter too. Ooh, good punish there from Violet Kane. Going to look for a setup. Go for the meaty cross B. Nice. nice. Crouch B. Let's go for a run up throw yet again. Sneaks in there with the run up low. This should be it, and it will be very good. Thank you guys again. I saw those match arena codes. Appreciate that. Yes, yes. All supporters appreciate it. Thank you all so much for, for hitting that button, for hitting that link. Thank you so much. There he is, the protagonist of the new Fatal Fury game to be out, you know, whenever SNK drops it. We look forward to that. And of course, we got to get the promotion. We're in full promotional swing right now. Buff Rock, make him good again. We got to sell copies of City of Wolves. We got the mirror match. <laughs> All right, we gotta get people ready. Yeah, this is what you guys will experience. But for now, I finally came with the purple. Robert with the blue. I just want to play some 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 grand. That's all. Just just give me the mask. Give me my give me my mask and cape, dog. Another another character with a chest out. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the chest. I'm telling you. It's all in the chest, as we can see. Riley Kane showing his chest right now, letting you know who's a top dog, who's a talk rock. Misses the combo. Robert's going to make him pay, though. And a lot of meter to work with here. Going to go for that install. No, going to hang on to it. Looking for the next hit, the next hit to kill. Oh, almost the right time to jump. Gets it that time. It should be hit for Robert. Yes, it is. Good start there to open him up. That's some, that's some uh, beautiful stuff there. It's really hard to catch a, uh, catch a player of Kane's caliber off guard. Yeah, I mean, in the two chances that he had, he, you know, he expended all of his, like, a good majority of his bar, right? And that just goes to show how much damage Rock does now. Oh, bad. Nice delay cancel into the elbow. Good stuff. Yeah, four and a half bar Yorty. All uh, Bali K needs is a basic B&B, &B, and then at that point, it's meter dump city. Meter dump city. All players here. Oh, he could have made him pay right there. That could have been a GP. Uh, break into whatever he wanted. I, yo, he pushed. Oh my goodness, bro! They will press buttons. Let me let me tell you something, Jaguar. These top players. I know a lot of people look to top players as like, oh, they're the most calculated, and a lot of them are. But in a lot of cases, they will just mash as well. Yeah, that gorilla mode coming through. Five bars, but will he get to use it? Oh no! And that is not what you need right now if you're Violet Kane. Quick max conversion into the max. Let's go. You whisper in your ear, homeboy. Ugh. Not enough, though. Going to be scaled a little bit too much. So Violent King still has a chance. Check the block correctly, and he doesn't. Eats a sweep. A sweep is like a jump scare, bro. It just comes out of nowhere. Five Nights at Freddy's normal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo. I like that. That is definitely getting stolen i love I, I, I love how to describe that that description of nightmare fuel you know that's uh that's good stuff there for sure i mean you know it's appropriate it's october right you know yeah it's spooky season baby it's time to come alive mm. see robert taking that first game violent king definitely super competitive though gonna want to bring this back Another topic. Actually, Violent King got second place at CEO Toxic. So, another incredibly strong player in this bracket. Gets her on the second record. Mm. Not going to be enough, but another, another hard knockdown. Okay. Mm. Shatter Strike gets the punish, but. Spin the meter. Yeah, he definitely could have cashed out big time there, but didn't go for it. And I like how even though Kane doesn't have a lot of resources here, he's not trying to give Robert too much, too much real estate. He's definitely trying to actually run some reverse psychology here, understanding that Robert wants to go in for the kill and smells blood in the water. Is trying to pick their shots to, to turn that against Robert, but Robert... Constantly on the on the offensive. Yeah, man, landing that instant overhead with Isla. You always gotta watch out for that. The jump B, uh, excuse me, jump C. Uh, such a good normal to just close out rounds. Violent Kane looking to close this one out. 
Looking for the anti-air low, but Robert's just doing a good job of navigating through it, and he gets the clean conversion, and we're in the corner, so this is gonna hurt. Oh, just do it. Mm. Sniffing out that setup. Oh, got the counter hit, that could've been it. Oh, that's oh, gonna be oh, from that on town. What a what a pop there from from Robert, looking to get the OCV of the night. Mm. Amazing spacing too on that Isla. Everything is the tip of the shoes, the tip of the sneakers, like every single normal. Oh, beautiful DP there, Violet Kane. Legacy player supreme, knowing all those different distances that work out for these characters. For sure, no challenge there. Definitely, um, I know it's a little hard to look for, but that, that's not a true string. You definitely match through. Just going up. Yeah, right there. And Kane is three for three with the crouch C's right now. Good stuff there, but Robert just not caring at this point. Just constantly going in, but it's going to cost them. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Still, uh, you know, he's got all the meter in the world, right? So, like, it's not impossible. Two big hits can immediately take us to our final round, but it's all about Violent Kane finding them. Yeah, Violet Kane looking to find another 2C there. No dice. Try oh, the low profile to jump oh, over. Oh, you get with it. No. That's what you get. That's what you get, Robert. That's what you get for getting cute with it. Do it. Do it. Burn it. Yep. Burn it all. Yellow. Yes. Oh, get in the there. optimize. Okay. Well, let's show me something. Yeah. Get in there. Get him. Mm. Get him. Oh, he gets climax. Get him. Yo, get the em. optimized combo. This might be a dead <laughs> rock Howard. <laughs> I'm asking this what he's saying Ooh. when he's you know whispering to him. That's crazy. He had <laughs> how much health left? I couldn't even Bro. pronounce it. How much health did he have left? He had like that was like minus fifty. I don't know exactly the, the number. Oh, my jaw is on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hard for to do this. Speak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Word. Uh oh, that could have been it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for VK to make this comeback. Not impossible, but he just knows that he's literally on sudden death. Any hit from Robert would do, but hold up. Hold yeah, up, Jackal. Alec Kane had to spend all the resources there just to make it make it competitive. And now he's looking to make it work as he's looking to close in and uh, get this game on the board. Ooh. Oh, Alec Kane, DP, too high to finish. And he gets the oh jump my seat. Gosh. Kane with the Yoriagami reverse OCV. Oh my gosh, and that was some beautiful KOF, folks. We are one game apiece, and we told you this was going to be a slugfest of a match. And speaking of matches, the Matcherino, folks, thank you so much for utilizing those coupon codes. It looks like we have sold out. We are completely out of coupon codes. Thanks to you all for contributing and utilizing those coupon codes. However, we are not finished. You still have the sponsor quests that are on the right-hand side. So if you wish to, to contribute to the pot, there are sponsor quests that range anywhere from follow this channel, follow this uh, profile on Twitter to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Just stuff that you already do on your regular time on social media. So definitely check those out for sure if you wish to contribute more to this TNS pot. For sure, for sure. We are contributing to the violence here. We are 2-1-1 uh, one, one for both players right here looking to advance. They are both, yeah, I like it now. We just going straight in instinct right now. No tech technique just punching each other in the face here finally came with the stagger on the records oh and, and this and, and this is the craziest thing about this match the winner of this match has to face tamago for top eight so, so do you really want to win is there really a winner here <laughs> is there any actual victors in this case you know you just you're just climbing up the you're climbing up the mountain, but you know you're 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 climbing up to something that could very easily kill you. You know. Yeah, the air could be cut off on that mountain, but we're trying to see who's gonna cut the other person off here. Who's gonna clip their ankles while calling? And it looks like Violet Kane's Kane is gonna take the first round. All right, good stuff there from Violet Kane. Getting that game was the boost that they needed. And now it's looking to capitalize off of that. Having two bars to work with. Getting that jump in. This is going to be some healthy damage. This uh, might be the turnaround that they needed. Big damage, like you said. Stays in front of the frame trap yet again. All right, next step to do it. Be careful. Good block. Oh, he was buffering. Got him on the back end. And he's going to go into the immediate SDM, Orochi Nagi. Player two takes All right, Violet Kane. 
Reversal of Fortune here looking to get the OCV of their own for the night. All right, now we're gonna see. We could get it, right? We could get the reverse OCV from uh, Robert. Let's see. Yeah, but <laughs> we also saw this last time, right? Five bar Yorty. But does Robert have those? Let's find out next time we're Dragon Ball Fire. Damn it, man, 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 man. Let's go, but here we go. Violent Kane looking to not let that bad future happen. Okay, good conversion. Yeah, that was meaty. Yeah, Violet Kane violently, finally, violently fighting to hang on. Bar and a half. Oh, what? Where was that hitbox? He scratched him, bro. I don't know what that was. That was a fingernail. Super long fingernails. I don't know what it was. Ready? Oh, it was definitely buffering there. Thought they got the confirm. Nice conversion there. Getting the corner carry. Oh, that Where is you going? Crazy. Don't you oh, run bro. away. Plus oh, could have punished. Okay. Burn trap. This could be good damage here for Robert. Oh, he's going to go for it too. Yo, are we going to get the Are we going to get the same follow? Look at the health. Look at the health. <laughs> that 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 negative 50. Uh -oh. It's not there anymore. Don't need to stop the wheel tank. <laughs> it didn't laugh in his face like yeah. you knew where it was the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, I like. You know what? I do agree with that. He's gonna die, but I don't mind the fact that he wants to set up good stuff. What a game! Finally, Kane bringing it back two one over Robert. Yeah, and uh, since we're uh, pushing propaganda on this stream, this is a propaganda friendly stream. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my hat in the ring and say, Frugal, please. <laughs> Real quick. Do it live, and here we go. We're about to do it live right now. We got a uh, Paris and Lag rocking the hide iron, so no no shingle just yet, you know. Uh, but he's bringing Sylvie. Sylvie seeing a lot more play now. People are noticing just how strong that character is. Oh yeah, and another character that has been just slowly creeping under the radar, Hyder. This character was an absolute menace in 14 and is shaping up to be very similar to that same same menacing play in this in this edition. Another character that's been blessed over the past few months. Yeah, man, them, them little them little changes every patch or so they, they begin to add up if you don't pay attention. Yeah, absolutely, and good stuff there getting the grab. Trying to opt for the chip damage here. I like that decision and the DP, the classic. Yeah, try don't to, tread uh, on me and don't you jump in on me. Mm -hmm. Dark Angel tried to, so he tried to like delay it. He tried to bait it out, right? Like he tried to change up with the double jump. But Paris and Lag was very patient there. Yeah, Hyder, one of those characters that once he has the health lead, it is extremely difficult to get something started against him because that jump CD, the jump C, the Stinga, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. different tools to just keep you out and keep you at those awkward ranges. But good stuff there from Dark on Hell, capitalizing off of that mistake and utilizing those resources to make quick work of it, getting 45 seconds on the clock. So full health bar. However, that was very expensive for that health bar. Yeah, I mean, but I don't mind it. Kill Hydern, right? Clearly, he's the best character on that scene. Get him out of the way. But here comes Sylvie Paula Paula. What's the two tone here? Looking like me right now. Except it's not that color. It's just blonde. But here we go. Three bars. A lot of meters she can dump out here. Does have access to the Anywhere Juggles. What is this song, though? Hold up, chat. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, let me know what song this is. I don't know. I know it's Maximum Impact, but I don't know the name of it. Yo, Maximum Impact, I didn't realize this, but um, Maximum Impact Bangers, and bro. KOF 11. Like, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, was it 11? I think it was the one that had the shirtless, uh, the shirtless K-Dash. Was that 11? Oh, no, it's the K Maximum remember. Impact, yeah. Okay, it might have been Maximum Impact. The stadium stage at night? Oh my gosh. Good stuff. A nice confirm, too, from Dark Angel. Bringing it all the way back. Sylvie has yet to really mount any type of combo and going to get blown up right there by the Iron Trigger. The Mago is old enough for all of us to be his sons right now. That's that's how old he is. He is father to, uh, to all of us. <laughs> older egg, but nice. Gets a double hit on the 5C. Leona got him in the corner. Good block on the low. Yeah, and Leona with five, six, five bars of meter could very easily turn this K-Dash into 
into a puddle of blood right now. Turn him into a mince meat, right? Mm -hmm. She's got a, she's got some of the most stylish combos. Would have been on its more technical side to land them, which is why you don't see her as often. But when they do hit, boy, are they cute. Just like that, we're going to get the throw. Oh, nice TP nice there. Dark on Hell not being discouraged. Still cranking out those wake-ups, making sure that Peros respects it. And that is exactly what happened there. Peros showcases some, pa some patience there. Yeah, very much so. Anchor versus Anchor, Orochi Blood in both these characters. Let's see who is going to take this one here. Oh my god, that was almost a really good anti air. Too slow. Yo, he, he's down guarding the whole time? Yuri, you gotta watch that sweep. Oh, nice, nice. In the conversion there with the uh, yep. blowback. Mm. To the V slash, the next setup is gonna do it. That was super ambiguous. And that's so unfortunate, too, because they tried to convert it, but they weren't able to time it correctly. Bro, I'm so scared for Peros to lag, bro. I'm so scared if he gets hit. Oh, okay, okay. With the trade, we've gonna already take seen it, it twice. Right, right, we've already seen it twice. <laughs> <laughs> so we know it's there. <laughs> If I, if I just glance and see Iori with three or more bars immediately, I'm just like, the swab is like, whoop, just taking a big gulp because mm -hmm. things could get ugly be real fast. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can go south easily. Yeah, ultra Instinct mode. Yep, like but a, it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Must have five stocks. <laughs> <laughs> so all five pieces of Exodia? That's crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fortunately, though, for Leona, controlled the crisis, if you will. That's a, that's a bit of a pun because that was a Leona and Yori's theme from 97 when they were the boss version. I'm such a nerd for KOF. It's crazy. But here we go. I love it, man. You are truly <laughs> in the game. I love it. I try, I try. But we are back into the round two, Jackal. We're going to get a throw into the corner. Oh, uh, here we go. The harassment is, is beginning. So we got the main theme, too. Let's go. Let me get more anime than this. Right. Oh, oh the and there's the respect. Dark on Hell taking a page out of Peros' book. Mm, Dark Angel with the aggression already. That's a quick confirm over that high earn. Word, I like the song too, Tori. I, like, so I generally like to make fun of Butt Rock, but I do I actually don't mind this song. It's not that bad. <laughs> what you thought? I call it butt rock. <laughs> ah, I ain't never heard that before. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, no. That's so mean. <laughs> I love that. Oh, Ooh, you got a rare? These? You got these? It's a nice. rare Sylvie command throw. Sometimes I forget she has that because she has so many other tools. I just remember watching people like Shakugan try to practice the mid screen conversion for hours. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to maximize that stuff, man. That stuff was great. Sure, nice. Just jumping in the air with the little legs, trying to just snipe out. Yeah, and what finds the hit. All right, there we go. Character piece on both on the board. Oh, my man, K-Dash pulling up looking like Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Yo, please don't do that, bro. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> Shout out to Jimmy Butler putting on for the, for the Fallout kids. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Ooh, the cross under. Right, there you crazy. go. Yeah, that's what you need right there. Oh, man. Said oh, tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. It's crazy. And the clean jump. See, that's going to be it for Sylvie. There you go. Get it. Nice. Sylvie. I love K-Dash. I love K-Dash combos. I didn't realize how, bro how busted they were back in the day. But, hey, they were real cool to look at. <laughs> Man, he, I feel like in every every major KOF, he always finds a way. It might not be the first version of the game, but eventually K-Dash is going to end up being a strong character. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it, again, it's, it's the, one of those things. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stylish with it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. <laughs> okay. We might be getting oh, stunned, too. It's, um, oh, my gosh, that was so crazy. Yo, the air in combo? There's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. Bro, and the meter management on that, like, There's she more. lost nothing, bro. She gained it. But wait. All right, here we go. Anchor City. And it's stylish. Oh, my gosh. And, and there's more. The bonus continues, chat. 
Oh, try to challenge the last part and dive oh, for it. One. Oh, oh, this is big. Yeah. On. Here we go. Pharaoh's always showing us that they had it. They got those. Time to guess one more time. Nice. Made it the roll. Paris and Lag is looking so dominant right now over Dark Angel. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, he's forcing the moves now with the air rings. Blowback. Rolls out. Oh, that was so beautiful. Oh, God. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. Paris and Lag. Very impressive victory over Dark Angel. I like that. I like that. Man, Harrison Lag is every week, dude. He's getting better and better. New Grand Blue, of course. So many titles. Oh my God, is that the oh, super fucking there robot? It is. There it is. Here we go. Okay, Eldo Girl with the Maxima pick. Very yeah, interesting. Magneto, Magneto colors too. We like that. Oh yeah, my boy said the master of magnetism. Mm -hmm. Just like the Yuri's face and magnetize him to his fist. That was crazy. Right, and I'm loving the pressure here from Dogor. It's a good movement right now. Dogor playing around with the distance, looking for a chance to use that jump CD. There it is. Yeah, Maxima got that big hitbox on that jump C. Another character that uh, you can really take advantage of with his guard point on his normals, but eating a double taco. Yeah, one of uh, Maxima's glaring weaknesses is that he does not do well with anti-airing right above him. So if you're able to get at that range where you can force him to have to block your your block your cross ups, you're definitely in a good spot here. Or you can just do it the old fashioned way and block the wake up. Try to go for a command grab and the command grab character said no. That is what yeah, I we're, we're that seeing that nerf. <laughs> for sure. We're seeing that nerf. Nice, the Baja Blast Beam. Yuri said, I do not drink Mountain Dew. Get that out of my face. We got him. All right, here we go. The pretty boy of the KOF universe, Benny Maru himself. Oh, yeah, the boy himself with the Shen Wu color scheme on, looking to wrap this up as fast as he can. Shout out to Shen Wu. And as you guys can hear, KOF 13 music, remember tonight at 7 o'clock PDT. Hold up, let's get this combo in real quick. Uh, but yes, tonight, the KOF 13 rollback does happen. You can play that and enjoy that for the week. But Benny Maru with our swift roundhouse kick to the dome. There it is. And I'm loving this action that we're watching tonight. You know, a lot of back and forth action, not a lot of blowouts happening on the screen, even in the cases where it shows 2-0, right? It's one of those 2-0s that you gotta pay attention to because there's so many finer details that tell these stories of these matches. And right now, the story is Shadow X with the Gar Crush. Ugh. We gonna get in anyway, bro. We getting in somehow. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> yeah, right? right? Okay. Wow, that was a crazy hitbox on that jump B. I mean, no, it wasn't. That was bad. Buff Benny, my bad. Oh, and a jump B. All right, here we go. Anchor City. Will Yori rise up mm, or drag the team down? Summertime Yori right there too, bro. You you missing on a on a season, bro? It's fall already. I forgot the orange. Oh no! Oh, and that is not how you get it done there. Blocks the wake up. Only a bar and a half though, so he's gonna have to settle for the hard knockdown. However, next hit will kill in this case. Yep, forced to block the second hit of the fireball. Anything All right, here? getting some staggers. Good stuff there. And the conversion. Oh, and the confirm. And you couldn't. And, and from watching that, you couldn't tell that butt was nerfed. Good stuff there to L. I mean, good stuff there to Shadow. Coming out with game number one. Remember, Shadow folks, X. we are in dangerous times. This is top 16, meaning that the winner of this will move on to top eight. Yes, we now sir. have a bracket update. Tamago just defeated Violet Kane 2 1 to make it to top eight. Definitely a hard fought match for sure. Violet Kane waiting in loser's bracket along with Juan, KOF, Shadow King, Kane, Robert, and Ruben. <laughs> I mean, the names you just like rattled off right there, like all can be top eight qualifiers, right? Like it's, it's just who, who's got the better luck this weekend? That's kind of yeah, what it comes this week, excuse me. That's kind of what it comes down to. Who's got the better luck? Who's the better player, right? Because again, you know, one week can pass. There was that meme on Twitter. Where it's like, oh, you, you miss one week of practice and that's it, right? Your opponent's a passion. 
Totally yeah, well absolutely. To quote the legend, Yikes himself, those shark infested waters. Anybody's game when you're down there. Absolutely. It's the crossbody. Maxima looking to uh to do his thing, man. But this character, again, a bit of a slow start. Has a big damage, but it's hard to kind of stop a character like Iori, you know? Oh, this oh. is gonna be it! We do it. Baiting the DP oh. once again, and Eldogor has been on fire with the reversal baits. Definitely getting Shadow to be a little more antsy there, getting him to flinch. Good stuff there to lock down the first character. Mm. Look at that, man. My man is LED'd out. You see that course into his veins? That's crazy. I know, Ooh. right? Give this man a Corsair sponsorship. Shadow getting it in, getting the quarter carry. Hold the frame the game. Yep. Uh, we got Good those. Hit. Oh no! Drops the combo, hit the DP too high. Didn't get the special cancel. Try to go for the guard point yet again. Not enough to chip, but that's gonna do it. The minute spike. We are seeing the shutdown, the hard shutdown on the computer that is Maxima. Now it's lore right there because K Dash is pretty much, you know, Maxima's uh, partner. If not in this case, uh, teacher. That's like his. Uh, I, I look at their relationship as like. Like a stepfather, like like Maxima's taking care of K Dash and Kula, the two kids he never wanted. You know what I'm saying? But he's got to do. He had to step up, right? Right. It's like we're stepping up for the combo right there. Into the EX Super, very good. Oh, no! Punish there. No dice on the DP. Mm. And the DP confirm. So optimal. DP does the most damage on that Ender, and you get back. Uh, you don't get back the most meter, but you, you definitely get the kill, which is what you want. So, yeah, absolutely. No, Benny the broken butcher? bottles. Yeah, a lot of broken bottles on the on the stage right now. Sure. Oh my God, get scooped. S A B. Three bars on the Clark. Oh God, this character is so scary. I feel bad for all the stuff I did with this character to people. Like I get it now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm uh, sorry, Jack. I love oh, you, buddy. oh, looks like I wasn't a crazy person after all, huh? <laughs> Weird. It's crazy. It's like I actually saw what this character could do and understood that this character has a lot more potential than people were letting on. I, I apologize, bro. But in the school of playing KOF or any fighting game, you must always downplay your characters. Always. And that's the thing that I love about the KOF community. Literally everyone downplays their characters. It doesn't downplay. matter who it is. It's just like, they're not even that good. Like, just do this. <laughs> nah, bro. Iori was never good, bro. It's like, yeah, yeah all right. Like, bro, like, you know how much meter I got to spend to do 80%, bro? It's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, hot back CD, blowing him up from any attempt. You got to be careful here. You cannot throw a fireball, but does it going to matter? Because there's the EX tactic to follow up. Oh, input error there. Oh, Ooh. try to get the, the short hop. It's a trip. So go ahead and mm -hmm. Oh, gets caught trying to push something. I'm gonna maximize the damage here, put him back in the corner. Cradle, time to guess. Shadow playing it safe. Good stuff there. Very smart choices. Opting to just back away and wait for the opportunity to present itself. Shadow X taking it 2 0 over Eldor Gore to make it into top eight. Clark and Iori players, as well as Iori and Rock players, right? People just using two. Okay, round star 5C. Never mind. Let me shut up, bro. I don't know what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we are now. Never mind. <laughs> even further into gorilla mode as Juan getting it started here early trying oh, to get no. the full combo punish on the whiff but ends up dropping it gets full combo punish themselves definitely a reversal of fortune not not conducive to the yo excuse me wasn't deep enough so um she landed and my man was mashing throw which is the right thing to do in that situation because you blow off those really high jumps but we're gonna blow up that right there with the ex ddt safe jump Block on the overhead. Oh, good stuff there. Capitalizing off of the air to air. Counter hit only. Okay, catching him on the back end, but uh, stanky leg. Jump D for the win. That is insane. All right, so got the first character down. Juan KOF managing to clean that up, even though hooligism, hooliganism, having two and a half sticks of butter to work with. 
try to go for something there, but Clark with the 2C ready, you gotta respect that button. Nice anti air attempt. Oh, that should yeah, be it. And this yeah. is, damn, that's, that's tough for Clark because Izla is one of those characters that's just so good at keeping him away. Just so good, again, at playing at those aqua ranges because that's essentially how KOF goes, right? You're constantly readjusting your position, trying to make sure your opponent is not able to reach that sweet spot. Because a lot of times you see the neutral, you see this, right? You're just like, oh, they're just, you know, jumping around, bouncing around, but it's really all about that position. So good stuff sure. there, the hooliganism, taking advantage of that mismatch, trying to keep it going here. Yeah, he's got the corner pressure. I like the cancels. Wonkoff not checking him, but just the jump. Oh, I was gonna say, brother, three times in a row. All right, TC. Oh, this is good. Oh, Ball splash. That's good. He doesn't spin the bar. Yeah, didn't want it to scale too much. CD does scale a lot more. Nice anti air low. That is a classic KOF track here. Wonkoff with the hard knockdown. Time to guess. Oh, wanted that cross up, but Juan sniffing that out offers a oh, jump oh. That was crazy. She hit from that range, dude. I'm telling you, those awkward ranges. is a master at that. Good conversion. Oh, with the instant jump back overhead. Yeah, putting hands on him literally with Amanda. Next one will do it here. Hooliganism Wonko. trying to look look for the, the nail in the coffin and Juan looking for the robbery. He's definitely trying to he's trying to get his he's trying to stick him up, but not gonna happen here. The CD trades, but Isla is gonna win in that trade. Yeah, only 16 seconds though, so all Hooligan, uh, all Juan's gonna have to do here is just land a solid combo. Yeah, give me the give me the rock far C. <laughs> there we oh, go, there baby! <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, yeah. Didn't block the full EX. Could have punished there. Yeah, the second hit is a low. A lot of players tend to uh, either they try to mash out or they forget that the second hit is a low. And I I, I constantly see them get blown up by it. Oh, we got the classic Sylvie skin. All right. KOF 14, so I'm happy to see that. Oh, good anti-air. No Stubby fly zone for either character. Nice. Once again, tried to jump in, but got punished for it. Scared master, this character is such a meme. Just the frame trap, plus frames yet again. Oh, try to find a gap there, but no dice. Yeah, dude, just, just do something like get off me. Doing a good job. Oh, Tries to go for the cross gosh. up in the corner. Oh my goodness, just throwing him right out of the string. No respect. That string is not real, brother. Keep an eye on this matchup. Character right here. Your hotness levels are off the charts. Thirsty Sylvie, I love it. That's crazy. Super thirsty. I remember and then after on she gets done beating on you, she's she's like she's thirsting after you. That's thirsty. crazy. I remember in the uh, like when when SNK would release characters and they have Clarence Bellamy interview them the questions. They, they asked her like what are the hobbies or something, and it was like taking. She's like she entered KO up to take pictures of cute boys, like something like that. Oh my goodness. I don't like the thirst levels, but good stuff. You know the like, at least Luong is an actual like undercover secret agent. You know, all that right. in the day is just front. No, oh, Sylvie Martin. is actually out here horny on me. <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of crazy. Where is Hinako for the sub? Um, you might have to wait a little longer. Where is Hinako? Who knows? The silhouette is kind of looking like oh, her. Martin. Might be her. Also, thank you as well. Bubble, uh, uh excuse me. Bubble bus. Uh, that is a bubble. Bub glue bus? I sorry, I'm a Twitch streamer. You know I can't read, but thank Bubble, you so much. Bub go, bub go, bub go. Yeah, like you gotta sing it a little bit, like bub go. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate the support as always, and again, thank you to all of you coming through and checking out some beautiful KOF with us. Six hundred and ninety-nine people watching beautiful KOF tonight. We just need one more. So if you got a friend who's chilling around doing nothing, sitting on their phone, scrolling, doom scrolling through Twitter, trying to start some drama, tell them, hey, get off that screen and come to this one and come check us out here at TNS. I'm gonna call my mom. Mom, go click in the TNS. Mom, what's yeah, TNS? You, yeah, yeah, definitely call your mom, <laughs> sure. Call my mom, call my mama right now. Uh, we got uh, Kula trying to call her mom to possibly get out of this corner. Mom, I'm in trouble. I need to get Eight, out, five, but five, five, get man. off me. Putting hands all over. Try to bait. Finally gets the roll, but the bad roll gets blown up. He gets a super confirm into the hard knockdown. Oh, it's so hard to block this character.
All right, getting this, getting the party started early. This yeah, stuff yeah. there from uh, hooliganism. Yeah. I mean, uh, Juan. Yeah. All right, let's see how well Isla can deal with Isla. Juan KOF definitely uh, made some well, some really good adjustments here, but hooliganism making some adjustments of their own. Mm -hmm. the corner so we can spray can the DP. Right, wake up throw. Why not? It's not a bad idea. Yep, cranking that 2C out. Mm. Oh, oh my god, that was funky. Oh my goodness. Yo, we need the we need the PC mod of Amanda throwing gang signs out there. Let me get that. Let me get that foothold. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the hand throwing up crimp like real yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing up seeds in the background, bro. I need to see that. Oh, I need tacos. like the I need a mod for like the entire hand, right? Because you remember back in the day, people try to spell out blood with the hands and stuff, trying to do the. <laughs> I'm gonna do it when we come back to camera. No time, even in school. Yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. No, cool. This song, I don't know the name of it, but it's the Dolores versus Cooper team. You gonna catch me slacking out here? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Rock, yo, my God, Rock Howard making quick work of Isla. Perfect game. All right, good stuff there. Juan KOF looking to run away with it right now. Definitely not happy about how that last game turned out, but hooliganism. We're gonna see if they got something. If they got an answer. Oh, see. Look at that counter. Can we play in Blaze Blue? Counter, counter. Yeah, clearly, uh, oh. that's not enough. See, Strive had it right. Strive Ooh. lets you know. Stop mashing. <laughs> counter. Just big old counter on the screen, right? Yeah, like you knew that was plus. <laughs> oh. Gotta watch those accordions. Okay, oh, gets it that time. Never mind. What am I talking about? All right, there we go. 39 seconds, so definitely going to be uh, back at full health here. Yeah, Hooliganism showing his prowess with the Sylvie, maximizing every single one of her tools. He, every every move she has has gotten put to use. Oh, good catch here with the taco. Juan KOF sitting on five bars here could definitely kill Sylvie. All right, here we go. We are in dangerous times. Oh, no. Oh, didn't get it. I think he wanted EX. Uh, okay, you know what? That was a bad roll. You gotta kill her. Kill her, brother. She should be dead. Yeah, I think EX made a match. Oh, no. Actually, no, a little. Okay, yeah, never mind. I, I had to, yeah, I had to quiet down for that one. So I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know. That looking kind of funky, but we'll, we'll see. Get, get James Chen on the phone. Ask him if that'll kill. We're not sure. Yeah. But clearly We're safe, Jim. Give him a mic. Let him walk around for a little bit. <laughs> there it is. Good stuff. All right. We are a game of peace, folks. And remember, it is two out of three until finals. So making top eight does not mean you are safe. You got to fight for your life. Always duking it out. Oh, the raceman puts her in the corner. Fortunately, she was in the air, so didn't get comboed too hard. But nice. Yep, that was a bad spin kick. That's the one time you don't want to do it. Is that point blank? He committed to the full version. Oh, got the cross up, but didn't believe. Mm. And we're seeing that nerf. Even though this is landing, uh, Isla's jump D has been turned into a mid. That was one of the changes in the stats, so you can down guard it. Uh, oh, Shadow Strikes out. Right in time, we got NK Howl Stream. Thank you so much for the party of 27. Y'all came in at the right time to enjoy this KOF. That was a max range DP. Uh, Snowman? Snowman buffs. Still not doing anything, but we're going <laughs> to try. Trying. We're going to try something else. <laughs> oh, cooler players. He made the Snowman a little those. faster. Oh. Still, still not catching them. All right. Well, <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> right. they're, they're playing the long game. The final patch of this game, Snowman's going to track and it's going to be unblockable. Bro. Oh, oh, my oh, goodness. Boy. They're playing the long game here. They're trying to close out this match up here. Rock does not want to play the long game. Yep. 2C anti-air. Get this one over quick and dirty. We're on to the next one. All right. Character of peace. Y'all saw it. I've been watching it all night. 
lot of dog fight going on right now. Ooh. Yeah, too far to get anything significant, but definitely mounting that pressure though. Ooh, almost got the instant overhead there. A little too far. Roll into the throw. <clears throat> I like uh, why not opting to commit to the fireball there. Definitely was looking for a, like a bro cancel or anything like that. Trying to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Definitely trying to bait something. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, some good damage. Yep. Take him to the corner. Still anybody's game at this point. Three bars of meter on both sides. I definitely want to see a big hit. I kind of want to see the rock install. We haven't seen it all night. Yeah, and that's crazy, right? Because now it's, it actually transfers between rounds. So. Oh, I, yeah. I, I honestly think he becomes the best character. Like, once he has that, I, I don't think there's a character that's better than him. So, yeah, double hitting double hitting specials on block. Oh! oh got the max can. Got the quick max. Why didn't he go for it? I, I mean, still a killing combo, but... I would have liked Juan to just commit right there because the climax would have killed regardless. Yeah, but you know, you got to think about it. Those uh, those decisions, those resources. And Sylvie's sitting on uh, almost five bars now. So yeah, you would have got the install, but at what cost? What good is install when you're about to die in a few hits? Juan KOF opted to be a little bit more aggressive here, saying if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out my way. Guns are blazing. Down to the anchor for both. Like you said, this is losers, folks. Somebody's getting eliminated. One of these two gladiators here will not be able to continue for this week. Mm. Oh, hold up. I was actually wrong, guys. Yeah, this is Naja's theme. Damn, Rome, Rome wrong on one of the songs? Confirmed fraud? Uh, uh, not a real KOF fan? Exposed? Any master. Trigger it. That's Dunk crazy. This man. Get him I, started, in the water. <laughs> I started commentating MK and forgot, but here we go. We are not forgetting these combos. And this is going to hurt here. Yup. Knockdown OTD. Yes, sir. For extra damage. Ooh. Still not over yet. Five bar Sylvie. Ooh, you got to watch those hops. EX Fireball's out. Ah, oh, but get caught eventually. And that's going to be it. Juan KOF taking that one. Very close game, though. And Hooligan is, um, this is my first time seeing him play. Very good player. And I hope to see more of you continue on maybe next week. The more the merrier. Definitely show yeah. out. I mean, East Coast Throwdown for me means a lot. It was the very first major I've ever been to. Uh, East Coast Throwdown 2013. So just to be able to come back 10 years later uh, and, you know, be able to play and support the homies. But for now, we're going to be playing in this top eight winners. And we got Reno, the Stone Cold Killer, who we haven't seen all bracket, bringing that Oyash and uh, ready to do some damage here on Perilous and Lag. Jumping. This is going to be a hard one for Sylvie, right? <laughs> yeah, just do it right back to her. She doesn't have the range to contest Yasha, though. Uh, but definitely has the damage and doing a good job with those jump back CDs. All right, got to watch it. He wants to fish for a fireball, but you always got to watch a jumping Yasha. Oh, the chase down, and this should be it after the super confirmed. Now you got to watch this whole movie, this whole slow roll, this whole character just take his time with you. So fun fact about this character, this is actually the character that really motivated me to play KOF. I don't know what, I mean, I'm already a Yashiro fan, but this is the funniest thing about it. I thought this version was the actual version, like the, the, the vanilla version. And I was sitting here playing, uh, at the, playing this person, and I remember exactly where it was. It was at CEO Taku when this happened. CEO Taku just popping up all over the place, right? And I was playing on one of the arcade cabs, and this person was just straight up molly me with this character. And I was just sitting here like in awe, like, yo, I gotta try this cat out. <laughs> I gotta do this. Is there maybe like a newer version of this guy? And everybody's like, ah, actually, he had the this version hasn't been out for quite some time. <laughs> I'm like, ah, okay. I guess I'll just settle for the for the regular one. <laughs> He's finally here. A little bit of health left. Yep, the chop to the head. It's an overhead right there from Paris and Lab. But yeah, I mean, technically, if you want to be real in the lore, 
the Orochi versions are the real versions, and the real the the non Orochi ones are kind of like a cover up, right? They have a band. That's just kind of how they are when they're not competing. But that was a clean jump and did not finish the combo, unfortunately. Nope, but EX Moon Slash it back to the corner. And I like it, keeping the pressure on Isla. We usually see Isla being the one who's dominant uh, in that. Part. All right, good pressure here from Barrels from, uh, from Reno. Barrels oh, yeah. Finding. Oh, the double hitting. This should be it. Yep, level one super. Flex on him at the end. Ugh. Leona is such a common rider nerd. The Sonic the Hedgehog music yeah. in the background. What's going on? Yeah, I know, right? They got your ears perked up right there. I love me some Sonic. You already know. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. The Showtime character. You talk about movies. Well, this is the blockbuster right here. So Reno sitting on five bars. And if you've been watching KOF for the past two years, you know exactly how this could go down. So Reno getting in there. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this could get ugly. If he doesn't drop it, yes, there it is. Sans Colette, aka Sans Clout. You post that on Twitter, you get all the followers, all the engagement. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, still going, baby. Where are you going? Mm. Uh, 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 quite a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Ooh, that combo never fails to disappoint. Good stuff from Reno for capitalizing on that and still managing to have some resources on top of that. Almost sitting at two bars. Shit is cheap. Sorry for cussing. I mean, look, it's definitely, you know, it's not easy to do, right? Like as an Ash Crimson uh, fan, it, I like watching, but I couldn't imagine playing, but we got clipped on the low right there. That's a lot of meter on the split. Looks like he's only gonna go for a simple combo here. Not bad, it's the whip on the OTG. And uh, if you if y'all been watching Castlevania, we got whips all days, baby. We got whip right here. I call it whip Belmont. The lost, the lost, the lost Belmont. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rondo of Blood too. <laughs> Featuring. Saying, right. We need that. It's, uh, it's, can you about making new games, uh, new non-fighting games? Yo, make a make a Castlevania with whip. I'm in there. I'll play that. Oh, beautiful anti-air there, utilizing the DP. What? It was that hitbox. Actually, no, that was more of a hurt box thing. That was probably whips, uh, whip. All right, here we go. Anybody's game. He's got three bars too. Uh, does Ash Crimson, so this mm -hmm. could definitely That's what I'm like, this, get ugly. What, the health deficit does not matter. No, <laughs> not at point. all. Nice sneaks in the overhead. He's gonna sneak in another one. Ooh. Ten seconds on the clock. Oh my God, he blocked that. Oh, didn't commit. Oh my. Come on, Reno, what you got? Oh, oh. If he goes into climax of freeze time. Very smart decision right there. Ooh, not like this. That was so smart. The climax freezes time and he's not gonna kill. Not like this. Yo, what? Oh my gosh. Reef him. The Stone Cold Killer. The insane clutch factor, dude. And that was such good awareness, right? A lot of players might have just defaulted to Sans Colette, which would have lost, right? It wouldn't have killed in time. But having the wherewithal to just quick cancel into the climax, very good. All right, and that is good stuff there. Reno taking that game on the board. What did I say earlier, folks? No easy wins. Everything is earned with blood, sweat, and meter. Reno taking that first game. That was uh, that was really crazy. Paris like putting up a fight and still doing a good job here. Got the health lead and the corner. Yeah, you can't press through that. That is plus on block. Sludge hand, which is coming down in your dome. Mm -hmm. Oh, good block there from Reno. Paperos with the adjustments. Yeah, that's Stan B. Annoying button, bro. It's it's 2021, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's gonna hurt. Not enough, but he's got a guess now. Next hit will definitely do it. Okay, meets are in the air. Looks like they trade, but listen, that is good for Peros. He keeps his point character. That's really what it comes down to.
and 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 I'm very I'm very uh impressed with Peros for sticking in the pocket, staying in the pocket on that one, you know, not being afraid to contest uh, Orochi Yashiro uh, at those ranges because Orochi Yashiro is a character that is straight up one of the biggest bullies in the roster currently. And yeah, and and the fact that Peros had the the gall, the confidence to not only challenge but try to match uh, Orochi Yashiro at those ranges is very impressive to deep. Yeah. Does die there. That's crazy. That was like one of the longest perfects I've seen in a while. I for sure thought Reno took some type of damage, but I guess not. All right, here we go. Character a piece on the board. We've seen this before. Peros has definitely made these things work. That Leona has definitely paid dividends. Honestly, I think this is the sole character. Like that Sylvie was doing really good, but this is Peros' time to shine. <laughs> I would agree, but nice counter hit conversion there. Push him all the way to the corner. It's time to guess. That's right, he does. Ooh, yeah. Good but again, response. you don't you don't have to guess, right? When you got that EX Moon Slasher on deck. Oh, and that could have been a real ugly situation there. Pedro's trying to get uh, Reno trying to get that whiff punish. Ooh, almost really good. It's the jump in that time. Oh, you gotta finish the combo, Peros. Come on, we are at Big Mama's house. You embarrassing us? We gotta finish. Don't disrespect Big Mama now. Can't do that. Okay. Shatter strike. Oh, shattering Level all two. expectations as we are getting it in with the corner carry into the super cancel. Good stuff there. Mm. Reno looking to take the tournament here and move forward in top eight. Yeah, this will put him into winner's finals, guaranteeing him that top three payout. Ready? All right, folks, so just a quick uh, bracket update. Low KOF taking the set over Dark Angel in the loser's bracket 2-0 to move on to top eight in the loser's side. Robert beating Ruben 2-1 to make it in the top eight on that loser's side. And we got Kane versus Violet Kane facing off mm. in the losers. And we got Juan facing off against El Dogor. Yeah, we are pushing on to the anchor right now. It is uh, still a... Anyone, anyone's game, right? It can definitely be a two touch for both players at this point here. Uh, we can see it come down to the wire. Nice, got him on the low. You gotta catch out here, Peril. Oh, Genesis opt for a simple maximum combo. And that's fair, that's fair. You know, if he gets one more hit, he can definitely steal the deal. All right, here we go. We've seen this story before. Uno. A little bit too far. Almost did the walk of shame. Jumps out of there. Ooh. Yeah, good tech on a throw. How are these players just so ready for throws, right? Like that was the first attempt this entire like I don't game. know. Dog. He was ready. Like <laughs> unreal. That third man. eye. Paying dividends. Good quick it is. Yeah, Close it out with the climax. Hey, this should be it. Cue the bloody tears. Cue the vampire killer. That's gonna be it. Whip Belmont will take this game. All right, good stuff there. Working that voodoo. The winner of that fierce fight. Winner! Mm. My whip moves unpredictably. Too much for you to keep up with. Says you're too slow, brother. <laughs> too slow. Again, folks. Slugfest City. We duking it out over here over the, under these stadium lights. KOF. Going strong right here at Tampa Never Sleeps. Remember, tell your friends. If you were uh, not able to sign up for tonight's action, don't worry. This is a weekly tournament. Free to enter. Make sure that you're following Tampa Never Sleeps on Twitch and Twitter. To stay up to date on all their latest events and, and current and current happenings. Yep, and there's Violent Kane with the raid. Thank you so much for competing and always gracing us with your presence, VK. Hope you had a good time competing. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. But yeah, Reno switching out Isla, bringing back the classic double Yashiro with Ash on the anchor. And this is going to be some nasty work here. Just jump seize in your face all day. Mm. Here we go. Cranking them out. Five of them things. Reno, Reno had to, he had to grab the blicky. He was like, I had to do what I yabba dabba do. Got Go another one. Oh. It's happening. Mm, 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 mm. Eat it all Ooh, over the screen. Oh, that's another one. Give me another one. I want ten jump C's. You gotta say it like it's a like it's a military thing. 
<laughs> jump, give me, jump, jump, give me. Uh, <laughs> give me some <laughs> jump seeds right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, Combat training. No, we got the there. jump D though. Using the range and I'm long legs. And that's the first time we're seeing that Reno wins the first round with uh, with his character instead. Yeah, again, those adjustments being made there. Reno trying to make short work here and move forward to those winners finals, trying to reach that promised land for that guaranteed top three. Oh, oh, plus two, plus two, plus two. Yeah, it's so hard to deal with this character up point, man. Like, But good stuff there from Pero, staying in the pocket, staying patient. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that two seed. Oh, yeah, there's another, another one. one. Those hands. One. Ready E for everyone. Gotta be careful. Ooh. From downtown, sniffs out the cross-up attempt. Good stuff there for Peros. Gets the combo, and now it is Peros' time to shine. Good block on that, uh, the cross X slash here. Yeah, you can tell Reno definitely knows. Oh, he tried to blow him up with the air throw. Very fortunate for Peros in the lag that he landed in front. And we're tied up. <laughs> Drop it to give me 10 fuzzy guards. I see you. <laughs> oh, there he is. Classic Yashiro. Man, got the highlighter jacket on, looking mad loud right now. Oh, yeah, gotta be. I'm telling you, superstar status is all about the chess. Bro, look like he worked for the MTA, bro. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, don't get hit. Four bars. Mm-hmm. It's happening. Mm. Peril, Peril's trying to play careful, trying to stay safe. Yeah, you're always one duff away from exploding. Now it's good stuff there. Utilizing that that bait to get the DP. Oh, good block. Plus frames on that heavy dash punch, so good awareness from Harold's. Alright, Reno gets the hit. Oh, the run throw. This could get crazy. And I like this. Both players being very evasive right here. There hasn't been much damage. Uh, Reno just been, never mind. Of course, we don't have to say that. No super cancel. Not enough to chip. 15, 15 seconds, seconds on the clock. Yeah. Oh, good guard cancel there. Thought it would kill with the uh, damage. Yeah, I thought so. Still with 10 seconds. Yeah, Reno content on just chilling. Oh! Oh, oh my God. He tried to sneak in there. Yeah, he tried to sneak in that air ring, but good awareness. All right, it's down again to whip. Let's bring this back. Oh, nice jump CD there to get the party started. A lot of work to be done here for sure. Whip one of those characters that benefits greatly when they're able to control the pace, when they don't have to push on. Mm -hmm. Very good. Neutral jump C, perfect game. We're going down to the anchor chat, but we're not only going to the anchors, we're going to a three plus bar Ash Crimson. You have to play as perfect as possible right now. No drops, no faults, no bad moves. No miscommunications, no miscalculations. You need to be on point. And I'm loving the patience here from Peros. That has been their bread and butter and easily one of their biggest shiny moments there. Taking the chip, taking the blocks, taking the pressure, not being afraid to sit in the pocket and just holding out there. But no, a miscalculation like you said. And we are going for a ride, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. How did that whiff? Sing along if you know the words. There's no way. I, I don't understand how that DP whiff is crazy. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's 100% dead. Reno's going to top three right now, folks. Good set between both players regardless, and that's going to be it. But I can't believe that EX DP whiff. It looked, it looked like it was going to land. I ain't going to hold you. That EX DP looked a little early. Yeah, looked a little right early. Been. Yeah. Honestly, and it sucks mm. because if you had a DP that would have went up in the air, right? That would have traveled, you would have been fine. Points. How does the saying go from Garo? Uh, only winners and losers here. For, uh, only here, the mighty rule. And we're seeing that right now. Yori versus Kill. Classic as a KOF match can get. Oh yeah, this is uh, definitely a destiny battle for sure. Mm. Oh, gets opened up there. 
Kuriga. Very good. Meets him in the air with the jump D. Interesting right. option. He's here. swinging. We are swinging, folks. Rainbow kick. Really? On Ooh. hit. Oh, do it again. Why not? Run it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, where you going, baby? Yes, sir. DP moves himself out of the corner. Tamago just able to finagle his way around there. Get this close C to close that out. Ready? Go. All right, here we go. All legacy all the time. We got Kyo, Iori, and K-Dash. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Nice counter hit conversion. Man, I thought this character got nerfed. Oh, oh no. It got the controls reversed because you know that was a DP coming out. Mm, yeah, again, moves himself out of the corner. The corner is super dangerous in this game, not just for pressure, but because of how it is, you can kind of move yourself out easily. So. Nice EXDP. He was Ooh, waiting. Reaction. Tamago with the patience. Ooh, that was the light kick, red kick, but he wasn't ready to punish. So Shadow's trying to make his comeback here, but I don't know. Tamago is just in another league right now. Rolling oh, out of the screen. Yeah, you got to punish that. Punish it hard. Burn it. Let him know. Yeah, burn it. You got to. No. Oh, no. Tried. They tried. So, they tried. Oh, that was an interesting idea. Yeah. I can't even say that was an awful idea because, you know, like it moves them forward, right? And if you managed to get out of the way and not take the extra chip, you, yeah, that would have been nice. Oh, but, no. All the things the must meter. come to an end. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you should have spent the cash, should have spent the super, but woulda, coulda, shoulda. Clark stepping up to the, to the plate. Oh, oh coming up. Wait, ain't no hugs, bro. We still in the pandemic, man. Get away from me. Uh -huh. No hugs at all. Oh, this should be no cancel in 3D, but yeah, Tamago just playing at such a dominant rage. Just jumps in. He's like, hold up. I got a command throw for you. He's like hugging people. There it is. And there it is right there. That was what they were trying to do last time, right? Trying to get that guard cancel roll, punish the DP, not take that chip damage. So good step there from Shadow, finally getting the character down, but a lot of work to be done here. Three bars of meters, so definitely could make something happen, but not even gonna be able to take advantage of the clock to get much health back, because again, Tamago's been playing really patient, not giving Shadow many opportunities to capitalize off of here. So good stuff there taking the first game. And I, I love the full jump options that Tamago has been using against command grab uh, characters. He's been just running up in their face and full jumping. So even if they wake up with a button, they're going to go over it, land, blow them up, get the proper punish. This guy is looking like a man possessed right now. Exactly. Just like chat said, who wants to see Yotaku? This guy. Tamago, easily one of the most high profile KOF players to, to currently uh, grace the scene. And I mean, of course, why not? Because this cat's been playing since forever. Yeah. This guy is father for a reason, you know, so good stuff there. Tamago giving us a master class in KOF play, giving us some beautiful KOF. Shadow X, however, looked like, you know, the wheels were turning, definitely started to figure some things out. But Tamago just, again, playing at that range where they're able to react to so much, not even really going in the majority of the time, just letting Shadow bring the opportunities to him. Yeah, everything's max range with him, right? In the way he plays. Yeah, look right getting... there, right? Yeah, just staying at that range where they can anti-air consistently. All of that stuff. For sure. We are going to get a character or, uh, order switch, I should say. Shadow X plays the same team, never switched at all. But we are placing, uh, you know, putting K-Dash on point here. And I like it. K-Dash was the one with pun intended the most fire uh, against this kill. And we're seeing it be put to use right now. Yeah, and again, you know, when it comes to point characters, you definitely want a character that has the ability to have some offense that you're able to abuse early on because there's not many resources that allow you to do guard cancel, shatter strike, all of those different mm. things that can get you in the game. And also shout outs to that $60 contribution to the match arena. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout outs to yeah. Rafa. Bless, bless up Rafa. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good night enjoying this TNS action. We appreciate that donation. But here we go into the second round. Mago got the uh, the kill, got got beat. Okay, so that's already a really good change of pacing here for Shadow X. Yeah, and that's actually a really good sign there because Tamago's PO is definitely nothing to scoff at for sure. Oh, trying to get the confirm. 
Yo, oh, Tabaco's gonna no. force his way in. He does not care. Yep. Yuri classic. Yep. EX Maiden Masher to the corner. Oh, that's it. Counter hit. He is so aware of those. All right, here we go. Character apiece. You've been seeing this character all night. Can't get enough of him. Can't do without him. We, we've been watching him for 15 games. <laughs> well, I'm sure when KOF 30 is out. Yeah. One of the OGs of KOF. I mean, he's been here since the beginning. Who are you? Matsuhiro Sakurai of the Smash Brothers fame has said it best. Whoever made Iori is a genius. <laughs> Those were his words. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, like, the character's got everything you need, so yeah. <laughs> one of the greatest designs to ever exist, but there it is. Toe touch right there. Jump B to the door. I just want to figure out how the pants stay on. That's all I'm saying. Like, how is it that you haven't had to, like, adjust yourself doing all that? Because that belt ain't holding up. There's a, there's a non-PG answer to that, but uh, we're not going to say that. We're going to keep it PG here at TNS. Nice gets the OPG. Yeah, Rock Howard try, trying to do his best here, but Yuri is just staying on top of him with the pressure. Mm. Very good. Into the shining knuckle. Shining a knuckle for the Gundam heads. I know a shiny finger, but we do it. Ooh. Two bars left. Oh, Mr. Haymaker, what patience from Shadow X right there. Yeah, and, and if you're paying attention here, this is Tamago's anchor character. This is actually a really, really good sign here from Shadow. Being able to take Tamago to the last character before losing to before moving to theirs. Which is a great sign of adjustment there from Shadow as he gets on the board on the one. Because you're gonna need those adjustments for sure. Tamago is not a one size fits all kind of matchup. You're gonna have to be ready for so many different scenarios at any given time. So I'm definitely curious to see what Tamago's got cooking up here to fight back against Shadow X. But we are one game of peace, folks. Once again, no easy victories. Mm -hmm. Moving on here in top eight. Yeah, this is uh, to get to top three, Boy. you know, again, to get in within the money, which is where you always want to be. Definitely want some green, want some some type of uh, recognition for your skill and your prowess. But only one of these players can get there right now. Let's see who's going to be first. And if you're noticing, this is definitely a much more conservative match just in general. That first, like, initial interaction between those two, they were just going for straight staggers. And it's still happening. No real, like, Rekka mix-ups or crazy overhead low setups. Just straight up traditional fighting game play. Footsies, neutral, conversions. And we're already in the corner. Yep, we got a conversion right there. Hesitation to the throw. I like it. The wake up met him in the air with the fancy into the anywhere juggle minute spike. What a chat. And Tamago finds these really, really interesting opportunities to use that red kick, right? Which is really crazy because he has yet to be uh, be checked for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say he's the best at, at uh, just throwing those out and pretty much establishing like, I'm going to do this. You're not going to have an answer and I'm going to nickel and dime it every time. And you have to take those opportunities because you, you can sit here and, and keep it traditional the entire time. And, you know, you could definitely come away with the victory for that. But if you're really trying to open your opponent up, you're going to have to eventually throw those tools out that they haven't seen yet or haven't seen off just to make sure that they're thinking about it. Absolutely. Let them know. You got that thing on you at all times. Just like that, Sand CD blowback all the way to the wall. You got to get this kill out of here. He's done so much, and he's looking to do so more now. Again, Tamago spacing out of this world, playing at that range where they're able to consistently react to everything that's happening here. Look at that with the anti-air jab. That is crazy spacing. It is, and unfortunately, Shadow X wasted meter right there for the uh, the max mode. But all oh, just jumping out of the scum kill. Oh, good backdash there, getting out of that record. <laughs> Blow back uh, out. Cancel. Yeah, I mean, blow back, uh, guard cancel. Yep. Uh, but smart stuff from Shadow X. He didn't commit to a fireball there. You know what's coming. Mm. Nice anti air with the DP. Once again, maintaining that space. That sweet spot, as we mentioned earlier. You know, Tamago is just constantly 
drilling those spaces, drilling those distances that he knows for a fact that he can control the pace. Oh, yeah. Wake up, DP. Yeah, we're on kamikaze mode right now. Kill with a little bit of life left. Definitely can uh, afford to, you know, as they say, let, let your stuff hang all out, but he is going to get blown up there with the turn punch. Can we talk about how we just begin banger after banger on these songs, on these themes mm -hmm. tonight? We have had no, no skips <laughs> at all. Like, that's crazy. No meme tracks. <laughs> yeah, strong playlist from everybody just like that. Oh, too slow. Man, I know Tamago like, damn, bro, if this is 13, that would work. That would work. <laughs> It is not. It is 15. And we got Clark with the anywhere juggle on the tackle. Gotta watch out for it. And a jump back, eh? Oh, we gotta watch that fireball. That is a climax waiting to happen. Taco not deep enough to connect. All right. Again. Ooh. Conservative play here. Game of inches. Gotta make so every smart. hit count. Mm hmm. Just like this one here, gonna be enough to kill, but barely. Oh my gosh, you're still talking about that, man. Let it go, dude. It's just, <laughs> all right, it does enough. If you, Clearly, if you optimize correctly, the super will kill. All right, leave it alone. <laughs> give him, give him Shermie damage, bro. Come on. There we go, elbow to the guts here. Final round. Another one, shiny knuckle. All right, good sign there. Not checking those fireball strings. Gutsy, gutsy situation in for both players. And just look at, the, look at the decision making. Again, nobody's going for anything extra. There's too much on the line for that. Both these players understand that either person is capable of destroying the other. So again, everybody's playing it smart. And Shadow X is gonna have to do that in loser's bracket because again, Tamago with the clean play here comes away with the victory and moves on to winner's finals 2-1 to face off against the Stone Cold Killer. We got Stone Cold facing off against the Rock at this point, the people's champion. Low call, first time we're seeing him today. Uh, we've been joking that this is the low call patch because all of his characters got super buff. Uh, but we'll see what he can do here. Lokov actually won TNS two weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago. I think we took a break at some point. We took a break last week. Uh, so, yeah, but here we go. Off the link from the blowback. Good damage right there. Oh, my goodness. Wake up 2C. Robert trying to get fight their way out. Oh, just rolling out. Not trying to deal with that at all. This trade. Here we go. Mm -mm. Nice block from the strategy strike, but no dice on the punish. Yeah, that was good range. I think he might have had to immediately fire out with Brekka to punish, but regardless, living on a prayer, a little bit of health, will maximize the situation, though, get some damage. Yeah, just wake oh. up too late. Unfortunate there, mistimes the meaty. Yeah, it looks like he was trying to blow something up, but Rock just crouching a little bit, shrinking his hurt box, so he was unable, I mean, he was able to go under the hop CD. All right, and there we go. He's the cross up. We mm. are even, folks. Character of peace. Yeah, Isla getting it done rather fast, you know, quick and dirty. No, leaving no trail behind. Cops ain't fine. Yep. We leave no crumbs. Big Mama's house. He's out. Got Yamazaki here with the green here. He's looking crazy right now. I don't know who did that. Who let him come out the house like that? That's wild. <laughs> this, is why you, this is why you need friends, folks, to tell you. <laughs> Don't be coming out the house looking like this. Got any Beast Boy vibes going on right now. Look at the Beast all over Isla right now, but let's see. Just keeping it uh, rather simple. No, too far. That would have been crazy if that converted. All right, a lot of back and forth action here. Death by yeah, yeah. inches has been the theme of the night here. First hit into the poison. Next hit wants to maintain that side. Yeah, like this is just 
And this is just go to uh, that just speaks towards the amount of attention that's in these matches, right? Because both these players had opportunities to convert into big damage off of jump in, mm -hmm. and neither of them converted. That just should speak to the amount of tension that's in this matchup right now. Neither player is really sure about what could happen next. Yeah, those land to get it, uh, land a combo that time, though. Two, two poisons sealing the deal. Nice uh, cancel there, getting that pressure. Now his power is in. Ooh. Wow, the slow walk? <laughs> okay. Oh, good counter hit. Gets a bar. Wow, just stealing some more damage. Low cost. They're looking good right now. Everything is coming up right now. A little bit of help left. Oh, you got to That was counter hit. Could have converted into elbow. Right, I'm going to get it here. Expensive, but you know what? Just get the win. Yep, got to get him out of there. 36 seconds, so going to get a nice chunk of health back. However, Anger character coming in fully healthy, and this is the character to beat right now. Geese. With all those lights. We don't win from Beast Boy to the Joker. Art the Fleck out here, right? But Geese is no joke. Definitely one of the best in the game. Not a laughing matter, but we are getting scooped. Okay. Reset. Oh, oh, okay. Triple mix. Okay, Robert. Robert. Getting funky. Oh, got a little too crazy with it. A little too much on there. Uh, got caught. Just like a parent too, right? Like your son getting a little crazy. You think you think you old enough? You think you, you think you talk back to me? You still live in my house. You better hold that. I give you game there. Come on now. Young blood. You know Geese be saying young blood, Tim. Like, come on, young mm -hmm. blood. <laughs> I got a... here through toughness mm -hmm. and iron will. Get that uh get that Gen Z stuff out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Geese pulling up on open school night. You know what I mean? Just letting Rock oh know God. what time it is. Yo. Oh, <laughs> open house oh, with no. Geese as your dad. Oh, oh my God. It better be straight A's terrible. on that paper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, A pluses. I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, I'm taking your yo, Falkies. I'm taking nah, your PS5. Nah, nah. That's, no that's PS5? lightweight. That's lightweight. <laughs> There's no PS5 because you missed training. Yo, you got a you got a B? Nah, in the dojo. You got to fight for right right B in gym class and, and, get, and weight training? Get, oh, nah. Get in that room playing. right now <laughs> and get in your gear. Put so your gloves sick. on. I'll be there in two minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Straight A's across the board. I'm gonna get a switch here from uh, AR Robert, putting in Benny Morrow, taking off Yori. So let's see if this can work out for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, if Rock, if Rock slips on his grades in school, he getting thrown off the skyscraper. <laughs> That's crazy. He getting thrown off the uh, Geese Tower, the top of Geese Tower. Yeah. So, so uh, you think this is a game, huh? You think this is cool? You, you think we just settled for mediocrity, huh? You think this is an average household? Is that what you think of us? Is that what you think of me? That I'm average? That I make Look average, average children? I gotta I sell you, drugs man. to keep you alive. You know what I'm saying? I see you don't appreciate nice things. So we're gonna take everything. Man, right now, Benny Ball no. <laughs> Benny trying to take everything from Yamazaki. EX Snake Strike through the right Jenkin. That was crazy. Oh, woke up with the anti air again into the poison super. Uh, doing a good job right now. Lokov so solid with this character. Yep. Oh, good anti air. Yeah, Yamazaki, you wouldn't know it, but definitely a character that excels at keep away with those snakes, those snake strikes. Yeah, incredibly solid defense, right? Like his all, it's funny because in KOF 14, he again, he was a de defensive character, but all his defense tools suck. In this game, they're all good. So we're finally seeing this character be used uh, to the best of the way he can. You know? Good. All right, good stuff there. Going for a setup. Oh, that was cute. The back dash into the flip. Making him guess twice. Wow, he committed completely. 
that is the first chink in the armor that we have seen there from uh, Robert with his Isla. But again, goes for the commitment with the Shatter Strike. Robert was like, nah, 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 you was about to get hit. <laughs> let me try. Let me try that again. Hold on. <laughs> let me run that back. Let me, let me yeah, try yeah. that one you, more You time. ain't really blocked that. You ain't actually blocked that. You got lucky. Nah. <laughs> Word. Okay. I like that. Troll in the air. That's what Isla wants to do. But, okay. That's what is that. Oh my god, the Eve's command throw. Low cost. One of the few rocks out here. Still getting mileage out of that throw, even after the super nerfs that it received in the... Uh, was it two patches ago, but showing you that, it, you know, command throw is still good when you uh, catch your opponent least expecting it. All right, we have another ditto for you tonight. Rock on rock action. Definitely a hard place to be right now. Oh yeah. A lot of uh, solid uh, rocks forming, right? As we're seeing it happen in front of our very eyes. Ooh. Very good. And this is where KOF is at its best, right? Mm. I mean, you get a chance to see the action and, and it's not just keep exploding. It's a lot of this, a lot of the oh. back and forth, a lot of the whiff punishes. Oh, <laughs> just Bro. get in there. Y'all said his name was Rock, looking more like Granite because that was a hard edge. But don't. I rest my case. I'm out of here. See y'all next time. Again, I am so sorry, everyone. I... <laughs> you get it? Because Hard Edge is the name of the elbow, and his name is Rock, and a granite is also a rock. Look, we had to talk about this, right? All right, we had a meeting. Every week. <laughs> also, I was laughing at Cosmic Night Zero. We can't take these jokes for granted. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Juan <laughs> Coffin, K49. Uh, putting me on hell on second. Okay, so we'll see. And again, you know, it's that soul character, right? Because when we saw Kane playing earlier with the on hell, the on hell was rocking and was definitely taken off. And again, one of the most notable things about it was how meter bliss it was, you know, how meter efficient that that play was. You know, again, Kane sure. not afraid to, to hang on to the resources because they want to make sure that they are good to go for later down the line. They want to have the cash saved up. You know? Yeah, but on the opposite side, you got one KOF does not care about spending cash. Every single interaction has led to an EX if he's had it. Uh, yep, it's working out here. When you're dead, so Juan KOF definitely looking to live life right now with the pro. Yeah, and that was a kind of a checkmate situation there for K49. Uh, Juan Kof was looking to chip him out, perhaps, but if he did spin the meter on a guard cancel roll, he still could have possibly died. So uh, might as well save those resources for Angel. Two bars coming in here. Let's see what she can do against Clark. Both players want to hug. They want to get in. Oh my God, that crossed up. Oh, the double overhead into the bombs. Very good. And there she is, folks. <laughs> there she yep. is. Yep, on hell. One go. of the most popular characters in the game, despite her learning curve. I know she has a lot of fans. Wonder why. But anyway, um, we are going to see possibly some further optimized damage here as K49 has three and a half bars to work with with this on hell so we might see some fat damage combo finally Yo, oh, EX nice run. Yeah, that was crazy. again you know with on hell is just as much of a guess for her as it is for the opponent right so the on hell player has to be aware very aware of at all times because while she does have a tool for like multiple situations they're all very situational very specific so Kane utilizing that EX run there for the anti-air side switch situation. That was mm -hmm. that was very, very good optimization and use of those resources. And speaking of which, five bar Kukri on the screen. Yeah, tripped in white right now. Okay, gets the max range to be. We're confirmed here. This could be some significant damage. Are we gonna make him guess? Why not? Uh, Double overhead. Oh, the hesitation! That was crazy. Wants up to party fight. time. K499 utilizing those resources. Juan KOF said, okay, that's it. Your turn's done. I'm taking this turn back, but again. Oh my god, that's hot. Oh, so deep. Yo, that was crazy. Vortex and a man almost too, right? That was like 
really sick, mm -hmm. but... Ooh! Oh, what a response and what a conversion! Yep. I mean, EX fires are really fast. Oh, look at that! Okay. Oh, we're getting Flex lucky. Kane with the awareness. Utilizing that spin to get over the taco there and still managing to come away with the round. We are now in Anchor City, folks. Building a little meter in the process, just like that cashing out as well. Five bars get you here, folks. We are now even on health. Mm. But Juan KOF can very easily take take that away. He definitely could. He's got a lot of meter on rock. That is plus, folks. You cannot press the button on that heavy flip. And again, again, again we were talking about those consistent characters, right? Kukri is a character that has been managing to maintain their, their position in the meta despite any adjustments that are made his way. Yeah, and it's like you said, right? A lot of KOF players tend to downplay their characters. Kukri players are some of the biggest down players in the history. But as you can Looking see, you or nine, showing how strong that character is. He takes that first game. Looking at you, Tao. Yeah, yeah, you know where you are. Yeah, you know where you are. <laughs> Looking at you and Cross. If you're in the chat, shout out to Cross. They will take away one thing. <laughs> one oh, bro, he's thing. Just, he's Kukri. just not that good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's just bro. not that good. Malk is in grand finals of the tournament last week. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, like, come he's on, man. Good, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> come on. Come on. But a oh, very good game. so much fun, everyone. Thank you all for coming through and making this a memorable night for sure. We are having a ball. We are having a blast. We are having a time as Juan KOF takes theirs. Gets the overhead. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gets the trip. I like it. Uh, K K49 being a bit more aggressive here. Like just uh, Oh, my God. Okay. Counter hits for days on both players. Again. Good stuff there. That was a big jump. Ooh, good pace. Again, stay in the pocket. Didn't move. Didn't flinch. Let the jumping Clark Kemp act him with the jump D and didn't move at all. It almost got the trip guard on that. Whoa, I'm not sure why he went for the... Uh heavy turn punch like that i mean ended up dying in the process but yeah came 49 took advantage of that might have been an input error not too sure but can't dwell on that we are going on to the next round yori nera rears its head yet again oh. yo man it was fishing yeah, he knows he's in trade range right here so anything will do yeah committed but the trip blowing up the last hit of the wrecker and that's been a lot of what we've been seeing here in these sets too, right? A bit like they'll the person one person comes away with a game, and then the adjustment made, the adjustments made by the other person are just so vast, so drastic. It just immediately showcases the caliber of these players. And once again, we are finally getting one bar <laughs> out of Kane for the unhill combo. You've been waiting on it all night. So yes, she does in fact have super moves. Oh, the block. Oh, good block. Mm, going up here, yeah. That's two bars as well. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, building up that bar back. Good stuff there from Juan. All right, here we go, folks. We are moving forward in top eight. Saw the Kukri paying dividends last time. Will it happen again? I'll definitely make it work here. Doesn't need to spend too much for Wonkoff. I like the way he's going to play. Be a bit more aggressive as he should, but you always got to watch that EX fire. It is so fast. And we're uh, Shades of Echo the Dolphin here as Kane is constantly trying to work that jump in. Oh, not Echo the Dolphin, bro. Not the Sega Genesis Echo. Yeah, you know, we we, we flipping <laughs> around in here, you know. Uh, uh, uh. Enough. The Hop CD seals the deal. This is just the start of a new All right, we are a game of peace, folks. Remember, no easy victories. There are no true winners here tonight, as every single person in this bracket, in this top eight, is a bona fide killer. One game of peace.
two ones all across the board. You know you love it. Mm. This is what you came to see. You wanted to see some beautiful KOF. You are right in the you are in the right place at the right time as we are moving forward here in this top eight bracket. And this is just losers. This is just losers. We haven't even gotten the winners finals yet. Oh, uh, you mean the relegated bracket, right? This is just the relegated <laughs> bracket, guys. No, you mean the hell bracket. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we all flow down here. <laughs> oh yeah. One, one a piece. Ah, and here we go. I like the, the little the slow walk. Oh my God, we are reaching for those jump seeds in here. Whiff, but the anti-air records finds its way. Ooh, try to catch him jumping. Catches the DP punish. Mm, 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 mm. Into the corner. Oh, from downtown with the Farsi. Nice, that was the right time. That meter, don't be greedy, don't be stingy. Yeah, he did it on the very first punch too, so he was able to get a clean punish. If you guard cancel in the middle of that, he'll recover in time. You won't be able to challenge. Him. So it's good stuff, but he is good as gone. Rolling Death Cradle to the to the corner for the win. And you know that was really hard fought, but again. Uh, Juan just capitalizing off of those scramble situations, right? Which was giving him a lot of mileage, those random hits, quote unquote, uh, just optimizing every opportunity that they had, which is good stuff here. Just like Aim utilizing the opportunity to punish the whip. Yeah, there we go, spin the cash. Mm. Good jump. Oh, oh, had to hit. Didn't believe. <laughs> oh, what in the world is this Looney Tunes around right now? All right, folks, we are now officially in gorilla mode. Here we go. <laughs> this is when the crazy stuff happens. I was like, we need like the slippery, like, woo, like when someone falls on the floor, like, <laughs> yeah, <slippery> sound effect, <laughs> like, yeah, that was straight Looney Tunes, Acme cartoon stuff right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All kinds of shenanigans on the screen right now. Yup, and there's that roll again. It's not a bad option against Ano to get out of her stuff. Ooh, try to catch him on a landing recovery. No finish. Jumps out. Jump beat. Raw overhead. Oh, it's trying to interrupt it. Saw it and saw it too late. All right. And then that cash. Oh, mm. it's stuff. That is extremely unfortunate for Kane there. You do not want that. Gets it that time. Time to set up shop. Right, you block. Oh, the EXDP looking for the chip the hit anything at that point you have to go yeah i need to see the inputs on that one i know that i know his hands was going crazy <laughs> you know the buffers <laughs> you already know <laughs> all right good stuff there oh my god I, again folks we're in gorilla mode your guess is as good as ours with what's going to happen tonight cool, cool. nice catch them on the back end chip out from the oh. clone no the jump scene. All right, here we go, folks. Anchor City. This is about as even as it gets. Kane with a full stick of butter. Juan with a full stick of butter. Whose arteries will corrupt cor <laughs> first? <laughs> Who's going down first, right? Yeah, there you All go. The cholesterol. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Hard uh, stand, heavy punch. Excuse me. Dome. What can happen? Nice trade in the air. Every trade is going to work for Wan Call, so up until this point, yeah, now it's in for nine with the lead. Ooh, what up with the max range punish again? What I said. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the double. Still not enough to punish, but it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, talk about jump scares. That EX Fire right there is incredibly fast. Dog, I had to hold my stomach on that one because I'm just like, oh my god, please not like this. <laughs> We've already seen it so many times, and it's we're so still a lot of jump C's, a lot of jump D's, yeah. and a lot. I mean, of we we've seen them bust it out before, right? We've seen them bust out the double Yashiro, so there's a chance. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Jump D to get the party started. Hard knockdown. What's the setup? Just straight up plus frames. Nice stand B there. Oh yeah. Stop sign. Yep. Stop anything you're doing. 
Oh, right. Build their Good time. push there. Now it's optimized too. Two C starter. Oh, try to go for the cheeky stuff. Uh. Doesn't even need to spin the meter for super. And that's a very, very strong start there from Reno, getting it early, which is impressive against a against a player like Mano. Oh yeah. Spend it this time. Significant damage about to be 50%. Man, Orochi Yashiro is non scaling super. Yep, and honestly, I don't blame him for it at all. You got to build all the real estate that you can. All right, good anti air. Good, good reaction. It's in that time. This should be in here. And if he cancels into super, which I'm sure he will. Yep. We're going to the final round for Rock. Uh, excuse me, for Tamago. Bring it in, Rock. Very good. All right, there we go. Now, Rock does have the buttons to compete, but again, Reno has just been keeping the foot on the gas, not even stopping. Like they ate the DP there because there's no fear. They ate another button because there's no fear. They're waking up a button here. Watch, we're calling it right now. Oh, absolutely. Nope, gonna ah, block here. Never mind, Oops. never mind. He crossed up. up. He was like, ha, ah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> He's trying to shadow strike there. He's gonna die for his troubles, but again, significant character lead. Two characters over to Mago, so not a bad idea. Reno is um looking looking strong, even with the defeat of Yashi. Oh, yeah. oh, clean jumping, but too far to get anything significant. Mago has a huge milestone to, to uh, accomplish here. Mm. Trying to get the uh the last hope here as he's trying to work down this Isla. That was a crazy block and the low profile under the jump B. Good awareness from Reno. Gets him in the corner with the spray can. Oh, this should be. Oh no, spray can actually restand Rock, so he was unable to, uh, to get that combo going. Still, this is such a good position. We're going to game two. Reno looking to speed run this uh this winners finals right here, man. Looking looking strong. Looking like he's ready for uh, AGDQ. Yeah, we're definitely setting records here, folks, as we're going ahead and moving on to that next game. A record in itself, Reno being one of the first, being one of the only people in the bracket to take the first game against Tamago this entire set. Mm -hmm. So, big ups to Reno right now. Yeah, letting you know what it is. You know, he definitely wants to be the champion. Again, you want to get to that grand final side on the winner side at all costs, especially in a game like KOF when, you know, the sets are long, right? You want to outpace your opponent. Yeah, your stamina's got to be on point for that one. Uh oh, here we come. Here we go. The jump C's are starting. Okay, keeps him in. Just lets him roll out. Oh, but the trade, yep. We'll kill players, fish for always. All right, and so good patience here from both players. I like that. He okay. just, uh, he, after his string, he just walked back. I'm gonna let you hang yourself. I'm gonna let you do something. Yep. And of course, Tamago understanding now that that 5B is gonna be a constant threat. You know, at first, thought they were gonna be able to play around with those ranges. Reno said, uh-uh, no. I know you. I am familiar with your game. You're gonna play mine. Oh yeah. Oh, but you're gonna play this right here. EX red kick. Not gonna be enough. Front. Always gotta watch out though. Oh, with the early guard cancel. I like it. Keeping that corner pressure. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But Tamago nice. with the composure and the will finds a way to get through and knock down this Orochi Yashiro. Yeah, that was sent cross cut DP to the other side right there. Very, very good. Mm hmm. But it came at a hefty cost. No meter, not a lot of health to play with against this fully stacked up Isla. Oh no! Oh, very trying fortunate for Reno. Trying to get that extra credit, so to speak. You gotta be careful. I mean, he gets the kill, right? But like, that could have went south really fast. I know you want to secure that win, but Tamago is definitely a player that will slow roll you every single time if you try to go too fast. Oh yeah, absolutely. We saw that earlier in their set against Shadow X in a way. And honestly, just all throughout the night, playing at those ranges where they're able to react, playing at those ranges that keep you out of your zone, out of your sweet spot, so to speak, so that way you're not able to adequately strike back. Mm -hmm. 
but it looks like Reno's kind of utilizing that same game plan against Tamago, essentially turning it on, uh, turning it against him. Because as you can see right there with that air to air, Reno is always occupying the spaces that Tamago wants to be in. And that is an important detail to notice because Tamago is still fighting here, but Reno is giving him everything that he is getting at the moment. Absolutely, making him work for it. No, super a little bit too slow. That could have been the miscalculation that cost him. Oh, Tamago's just gonna spin one bar, gets the frame trap, and immediately goes into the EX Maiden Master. That's gonna be it. All right, good stuff there, Tamago. Turning things around, but it's tough. Like you said, Reno making them work for it. And right yeah. now, we got the hardest working person in show business. Oh yeah, the Bumblebee colors, right? Ash mm -hmm. Crimson back in effect here. Four bars. Reno wants to kill this with a, a, a little bit of you know resources as possible. You just actually put an idea in my head. If we were able to somehow get Flight of the Bumblebee to play anytime <laughs> Ash does a combo. <laughs> Oh, jumping off the scum kill. But that would be pretty good, right? Maybe if it was like a Destiny theme or something. Where yeah. It comes in and it <laughs> yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Four bars still, so Tamago still has to play this as clean as he can. Oh, Gets open. Here it is. The, but he drops it. Oh, oh, no. See, we need the music. Mm. They dropped it because they we didn't have the music. We didn't have the theme song. The, oh, got him. We need the bumblebee. Yeah, he's already at close to three bars again, so he could easily run this back. Yeah, that's crazy. Build the bar back up. Yeah, that's all right. I'll, I'll spin it again. <laughs> Frame trap, but no finish for Tamago. Up, here we go. E rolls out. Man, that fireball is so good. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing about Ash, right? You're so used to seeing Ash pull off these touch of death combos, but Ash still relatively has some some really good tools to utilize in neutral. Oh, you, know, you don't really get to see it much because again the combos, but yeah, as you're seeing right here, Reno definitely uh, utilizing the character as opposed to the combo. Mm-hmm. One small misstep from Reno cost him his entire life. Tamago, even while being on the defensive for the majority of that final round, found his way in, found that one crack, that one little slither, that one gap, and Reno's pressure and blew him up and took that game. We're going to game three. Also, shout outs to SSB Stu for the sub. Thank you. And folks. There are no real victors here in top eight. Everybody's fighting and scrapping and scraping, trying to make a way, but it's tough. I can't believe that two seed hit from that far. That's insane. Oh, you oh, yeah. punches with a vengeance, bro. <laughs> Dude. Oh yeah. Those are God buttons, baby. You, you tripping. <laughs> the damage on the, the, the tippy top of the bar does get it there. And a little bit of health left here. Reno definitely wants to close this out as fast as he can with the life lead. Gets the overhead. No OTG for the pickup. Interesting. That's fine. Mm. All right, a lot of back and forth here, but Tamago getting the hit. Trying to keep him standing for the moment until they get the big hit. Oh, no. nice. Doesn't get the DP. That is unfortunate. That's very good for Reno. Forces him to spend some meter. He's going to uh, come down with less resources there. Good stuff. Yeah, Guard camera's right. out. Oh, oh, you know he wanted to whip punish that. Ooh, oh, okay. Get, didn't get the, the conversion there, didn't he? Gonna eat a ton of damage right here, though, just for that. Yeah, Reno spinning that extra bar, making it stank. Mm. Mm. With the pop off. Feel yourself. Oh, the cheeky stuff. Conditioning has been set in, folks. Been playing a lot of KOF tonight, so at this at some point eventually the players are gonna stop. 
Yeah, right. For sure. <laughs> or in Tamago's case, they're gonna go harder. <laughs> you know, it's like, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey man, he's letting him know. Like, listen, you might have this much of a dominant presence over me, but I'm gonna fight back. I'm gonna stay alive. Just like yeah, that with a wake up right there. Oh, right back at him. All right, here we go. Rock coming through. The top rope. Stand to mm. Ready? We're not looking to take this second, uh, excuse me, third game and his second win. Tamago's Rock, definitely no stranger to make a comeback. Even before Rock got buffed in his pack, Tamago was still one of the players holding on to him, using this character to the best that he could. Oh, right over. Doesn't get the hop uh, CD at that range, but she does. Two bars, let's see what he can do. Gonna be patient here. Nice strings from Reno. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm, I'm just watching right now. I'm just in awe, just looking at everything that's happening in the screen. This is so good right now. I'm, I'm just being a fan at this point. Of course, looking for that one hit. And Tamago finds it right there. The big crack of the egg into the shining knuckle. Let's see what he can do if he wants to close this one out. Oh. oh, where is it going? Hmm. And the oh, up, bro. That was so good. The first throw of that entire round, and it had a 100% hit rate. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Instant death versus protag protagonist energy. Keep it simple. Right into climax. That should be enough. You know what? That's fine. Don't drop it. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Yeah, oh, so we're gonna go to game four. <laughs> Fly of the Bumblebee. There it is. The Hopefully we don't get DMC8. I don't know if that's like um, or something. Oh no, I no, no. I made look listen, you managed to find the worst <laughs> lip syncer in the history of the planet <laughs> so trust me i'm all off key all the time so we won't we we ain't gotta worry about that <laughs> no, we're not getting sued let's go baby yeah. no lawsuits but we are going to the fourth glad game here. Cause bad baby glad because bad there we go there it is yeah reno up 2-1 right now looking to, to advance to winners finals i mean excuse me to grand finals uh, this is the winners finals we do get a win on the cd yeah, I thought that button got nerfed. As you can see, when used properly, it's still very solid. Uh-oh, here we go. And another button when used properly is really solid. Oh, yeah. Oh, try to go for that leap. I feel like that could be said about a ton of Yashiro's normal. He's in front, he's the link. I wonder if he's going to spin it here. It looks like he will. Yes, sir. Yeah, Yashiro is one of those. Orochi Yashiro, well, Yashiro in general is one of those characters in the corner can do a lot of meter lift damage. Oh, yeah. No way. Not what that, he was looking for. That is unfortunate. And then what's even worse, right, is that it's not like Tamago is just just throwing these out like candy. He is very much trying to pick his shots. But Reno is just managing to stay one step ahead at, at this moment, sniffing out the desperation tactic and moves on to take that character. Yeah, for sure. Definitely did a good job, like you said, just Every once in a while, busting it out, but yeah, just ready. And that just goes to show the level of player that Reno is ready for all situations, all comers. And right now, he is looking to, to uh, pretty much handle Tamago, but Tamago fighting back out here, fighting out his way. Gets the 2C right back at you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not getting over this character, bro. <laughs> not at all. Got the height and the weight, man. Oh yeah. Uh, here we go, that meterless damage. So we're going to put a little X on it anyway. Spend the one bar here. Off an anti-air, baby. Oh, yeah. Go back. Nice! Eats him out of the air. Level one. Super. Downtown. Orochi Yashido snatching any chance of victory from Iori. Moves on. Tells that man, I'm the real Orochi. Ready? You old and busted. I'm the new oh. hotness. He hit him with the F champ. He said, this is my game. Mm -hmm. This is mine. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. 
little bit of health left though. Rock can still win this. Okay, EX Rising Tackle. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, just gotta make a couple solid reads here and there. Get that health down. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and this is a good time right to bust those out. Reno doesn't go for it. He doesn't go for run up just like regular command throw that often. So it's a good time to do it. But Tamago does get the win. And uh, he's got a tall order here. Two more characters to take down with this rock. But this Isla might be the nail in the coffin for him. Yeah, Isla has been giving a lot of problems in this particular matchup. But Tamago looking to reduce those issues one by one. We're sitting at 90 problems right now, folks. Oh, we're going to find out if Isla is one, three bars. Nice confirm off the counter hit CD. You definitely spend it. Yes, I agree. It's the final character. Might as well dump your load. And the bait on the rising tackle. Reno, what the response. And he is going to advance into the grand finals. Oh my gosh, what a strong display from Reno. Do keep it going. Y'all understand what I'm dealing with now? This is why I had to apologize twice. You know, this is the, the kind of person that Rami listens up actually is. Oh, the government? That's crazy. <laughs> he said the whole name, but here we go. Yeah, Losers. Sure that, 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 that everybody knows the truth. For sure. The truth must be revealed. <laughs> it must set you free. Uh -huh. We are in this relegated semi-final right here. Oh, EXDP. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know. I'm going to bust that out every time. I do think this is a fairly good matchup here for Benny Morrow. Doesn't have to respect any of what Whip does. Uh, and his full jump, being that he goes so high in the air, doesn't have to respect her, uh, you know, her normals at all. But look at this pressure. Oh, yeah, this is looking real convincing right now. Low KOF looking to make short work of this, this matchup. Definitely hungry for that top three placement and trying to move on and get to that promised land of the loser's final. I didn't know Lokov had a Benny Morrow. This dude, this well, dude, he does it all. I didn't know Barrow had a Shune, but here we go. We we cranking out all the all of the depth charts tonight. Oh, the, the, the team, uh, this is the team China team kill. Here we go. Nice was for the reset. Oh, the face. Oh, but he didn't get the finish. That's so unfortunate. Oh, man. That was, that was so sick. And it's so unfortunate. <laughs> It's like winning a lottery and then immediately dying, right? Like, Damn, yo, like hit by a car. Yeah. Just, like what? And you didn't even plan on it. Like you actually waited. You waited for the light to change. You looked both ways. Then you looked again. Then the moment you actually put a foot on the street, you dropped the combo. And yep. the EXDP wake up again. Lokov showing zero fear with this Benny Morrow. And it is paying off. Sometimes just kind of being you know a bit sporadic and your movements being kind of crazy kind of erratic is the word i was looking for you can definitely throw off your opponent yeah for sure the element of surprise so to speak oh, oh my god to, to surprise no. us with this dub yeah surprise us with these tunes i'm telling you we have had no skips one of my favorite tracks in the entire uh, in the entire history of KOF for sure. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the, the nameless theme from OT One. Such a good mm -hmm. track. EX Moon Slasher. Hopefully this could be the start of a good story for Peros and Lag. Because uh, remember this is loser loser semifinals, the last two out of three set of the tournament. He's got to turn it on right now. That's so crazy that after watching these insane uh, watching this insane first to three you have to go up and play a first to two <laughs> yep. like man this sucks <laughs> yo not deep enough okay gets the tech on the throw nice oh. every time yeah low call punishing with that each command throw fast enough oh this is gonna be it here off the counter hit are we getting optimal with it no poison though but still gets the win on the end anyways Oh, now yeah, we might we might see a character switch from Peros and Lag. We did see the Sylvie earlier. Like I said, he has a Shingo. I'd like to see him bust it out, but you know, understand if he doesn't. Uh, let's see what he decides to do. Yeah, and it's it's kind of it's kind of tough, right? Because to be perfectly honest, I feel like all three of those point characters would potentially struggle against Point Benny Maru. You know, Sylvie mm -hmm. not having the greatest range, not having the uh 
you know, strongest like keep away buttons, right? To to keep a character like Vinny Maru from short hop being all over you, right? Um, Shune, you just saw right there, definitely trying to compete with Vinny Maru and had to do some crazy stuff just to get a bait out of him. And then Shingo, right? Like for all of his buffs and everything else, it's, it it really comes down. And I feel like this is what makes Vinny Maru such a strong character is his angle. Like you said, high jump arc and that jump B just manages to, to squeeze that hurt box just enough to make a lot of your favorite moves with. Oh yeah. And I'll uh, definitely trying to use that again, but okay, nice lock now for Paris to lag. Playing at that range here. Whoa. Try to EXD out. EXD is a super fast punish, but there's some, like nowhere to be found. And I like this, yeah. Using that uh, blow wing to kind of, yeah, very good. Building some meter and also stopping the air approach. Mm. Nice. Oh, well, shimmy, shimmy, ya, shimmy, yay. Coming through to save the day. The protagonist in the building. With the, oh, let's go. Oh, my oh, God. Overhead. Hands all over you. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. Getting the character on the board. Yeah, looks like the order switch was key. And again, this is what we've been seeing all night. These insane adaptations. This is high level KOF. This is some beautiful KOF right now. Take the poison. Keep him in the corner, locking him down. Yeah, he's eating every last second of that chip. Is imminent though. Surprised he didn't go for it there. Just waiting. But does get it in the end. Yeah, it's one of those uh one of those situations where you could but you know it's like you know if i do this like might work and then i gotta do more work and then if i just sit there then i'm gonna die eventually right so yep. kind of understand why peril will want to hang on to the meter maybe you know just save it for when the next character comes out and if you notice he manages to switch the order to put diana diana at anchor yes which is going to be real interesting because Leona definitely a character that gets stronger the more meters she has, right? So we're going to see if uh, Pedro is able to hang on to those resources a little bit, but low KOF making it very difficult. Oh, yeah. He was too far for that uh, to stomp, but he had stomp to connect. I do like the idea of doing that, though. That would have been sick. Yeah, like you said, Leona definitely um, benefits from having a ton of meters. She can get real stylish with it. It has like some built-in stun combos. Uh, but, you know, we got to get there before we even see that because right now we're still alive with this whip. I'm going to blow back through and get some throw. Good block. About yeah, this but this is also a, the thing about Yamazaki. He's so good at forcing you to use more resources than you care to just to get a hit on him, right? Because again, those defensive tools that keep away such good spacing on each of them. Like right there, right? He's not even really pressing the issue. He's just sitting at a range that he knows he'll be able to react, that he'll be able to defend. Yeah, right there, right? Oh, ooh. PP, still a little bit of health. He can steal it. Good block on the overhead. Chip from the snake strikes and a double KO. You gotta be kidding me. Very good. <laughs> I like it. Me. What is this? What is this bracket? It is oh. the clutches bracket. Low cough though. One more match away from winning. One more round, I should say. That was a crazy whiff punish, but no finish. Oh, try to maintain some positioning there, but low KOF just pushing the gas pedal. Oh, oh. that's so unfortunate. Oh my goodness, and low KOF just having an answer for everything Peril's trying to do. No, he and just timed the block. Goes for the corner position. Not sure if that's going to pay off, though. He is so lucky that Peril's got a throw and not a 5 p Wasted some meter on the on the EX, but still in good position, though. Both players kind of slugging it out. Yeah, and Low is abusing that EX all day. That is, oh. <laughs> Do the EX stop and then nothing? 20 seconds. Oh, my God. EX move slasher. Lock on the overhead from that range. 15 seconds on the clock. Get up. He tries to go for the EX counter. Tech oh gonna throw. Oh. 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 Slasher again. No more meter for Rock. But you gotta approach. 
and the Ooh. EX Moon Slasher yet again. Harrison Lang holding down back for his life. And what's insane about that that last interaction is that it was the only time that the DP came out. Peril didn't take any of the other smoke and mirror tactics that Low was throwing at him, right? Just Low constantly no. trying to toy around with that range, trying to bait out the DP, trying to get a fake reaction, right? Peril's never took it. Peril's never took the bait. So good stuff to Peril for... Uh, for continuing the onslaught and uh, getting on the board. Keep it going here. Oh, but this is the last two out of three sets. The winner of this will advance to face against the Mago. Oh, here we go. We ain't dropping it this time. God, he is moving with this shooting A right now. Oh, he's fading it up in Oh, not gonna be enough. Oh, so close. A little bit of help will do. Definitely don't want to get haunted though. It can 100% it can happen. No, but the chip out on the blowing. Good stuff. No, she's singing, bro. You hear that? Uh, <laughs> that was perfect timing. I'm like, yeah, you you sing that. You sing that girl. Nice, meet him in the air again. Yep, give me that guitar. Getting tough. Yamada. Oh, your snake strikes, but the follow-up doesn't suck him in. Oh my gosh. It's too good. It's so good. Y'all not entertained. <laughs> Let me know what's up. Y'all not, uh, if y'all not enjoying these matches, let me know. Because I'm having a ball. I am having an amazing time watching these matches right now. Yeah, so good here. Harrison Lag with a little bit of health. Just keeping his uh, Shune alive as possible. And uh, the longer the, the time grows down, the less health Lokov gets on the incoming. So not a bad idea for Harrison Lag to do that. Being super evasive here, not allowing Lokov to establish anything up until that point, literally runs into his death. Round three. There she is. Three bar whip. Peros is a uh, legacy character, the one I know him for the most. That was great. Oh, that was good. Yeah, he goes for the EX poison. Get that health just ticking away. Oh, this is good. It could actually do a significant yeah. There won't be enough. Let me get a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, th that's the range. That's the range you want to be in right there for those jump C's. The connect. Yep. Gotta force the trade. It's so hard to uh, stop her. Like when she has a significant health lead like that and you're one touch away, it, it's so hard to just kind of blow her up before she gets to trade with you. Yeah, absolutely. That sweet spot, right? Yeah. Carlos on lag with a DP through the string. Bates the counter into the throw. Catches the back roll. This is looking so good for Carlos on lag. Ooh, this might be it, Jackal. This is going to hurt. Yeah, this is looking kind of crazy right now. It's kind of hard not to be a fan of low KOF. And that's going to be it. Perilous and Lag with a convincing victory, defeating Lokov and eliminating him. Lokov will get fourth place. Thank you for playing, Lokov. But Perilous and Lag is going to keep going to the losers finals. Oh my goodness. Tamago, Contra, Perilous and Lag, Shingo on point, and the Blue Mary is out too. Oh, lots of fan favorites here. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Shingo kick. Oh, look at that hard knockdown. Shingo, um, very uh, interesting character here. Uh, they made it so his criticals are um, a bit more consistent. Like, I think they upped the rate on them. It's like you're seeing it right there and another critical as well. I think that's absolutely wild that a character just gets a random damage. <laughs> Big just RNG. Yeah, like what? <laughs> that, is, that is forever going to be wild to me. Oh, but there's the next stays in front, but misses the finish. 
Oh, the hesitation. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, Blue Mary. This has just been the night of the consistent characters, right? A lot of these characters that you're seeing on the screen throughout the tournament are characters that have been maintaining their positions and maintaining their viability throughout the period, throughout the game's life. From Kyo to Benny to Rock. Jude, Fiona, uh, Eordi, like we're getting a lot of legacy mileage tonight. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. this guy's falling on his face. <laughs> Trying to close off this matchup here. Former teammate Benny Morrow gets the cross up, but no finish. Ooh, blowing up the, the slash. This could hurt. That's oh, the no. craziest thing. Like, Shingo actually took a round. He's going to take another one right here because we got a DP into the level one super. Dog. What is this timeline? <laughs> Shingo players rise. What is this rise. timeline right now? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, but the raging storm. Rock said, hold up, brother. Let me, let me slow things down, man. I know I said that we don't even know what's happening, but no, this is too much. This is a bit much. Hey man, the characters uh pretty interesting now. I mean the bat the, the balance patch did, did really well for a lot of characters. Shingo Guinness is another one we're seeing. Um obviously Rock and Shune as well you're seeing on display here. Nice, yeah. Throws him up. And I just gotta wait for him to come down, right? Right. All right, a lot of back and forth here. Beto trying to find the uh, opening, but again, Tamago really good at playing those ranges where they have the advantage and you're just sitting here getting whip punished all day. Yeah, just like that, blowing him up. Bringing this back with Rock Howard though, but I do have a lot of bar. I think it's Max. Yeah, Max Leona, so. If he can get the hit, can land some significant damage. Would lead to a stun combo. Ultimate uh -oh. launcher. That actually might have led to death. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we're we're in official death range now. Mm. Oh, here we go. We going for a ride, folks. Uh, yeah. There it is. Into the climax. No, it with what? To Mongo SNK. I demand a recount. Yeah, that's wild. I don't know how that whiffed too. He was low to the ground. It shouldn't have whiffed, but we're gonna get some more damage. Oh my God. Don't get, okay, okay. I was just saying, don't get, uh, you know, don't get terrified by that. But Parasol kept it cool and uh, took that first game. So good stuff. I, I like, you know, I'm really liking the Shingo. I hope, hope to see more work, but Tamago definitely, uh, you know, pun intended, a hard egg to crack. So he will definitely make these adjustments. Yeah, definitely. And honestly, this is kind of one of those things where we're watching Pero level up as the tournament continues. It's as if as long as Pero makes it to the next round, Pero is going to show out. For sure. Like every game, Pero has been getting strong. Would definitely call him the people's champ of the night, right? Oh yeah, wow. absolutely. Chat is going crazy right now. Everybody's on their, on their side. Mm. We might have ran out of Shingo juice because he's getting blown up right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mago Channel in their inner, inner Larry Bird right now, making the crowd hate him. Shout out to Larry Bird, one of the, the best uh, trash talkers in the history of this sport. But, um, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, this is uh, looking a little bit rough here. Tamago trying to close this out as fast as he can. We do have Shingo trying to mount some offense. DP is not gonna land. Gonna eat a jump B. Yeah. Okay. Gets it that oh, time. Okay. Oh, but the trip so fast. And the meme stops here. The Mago getting that character up out of here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We might have uh, we might have clinched the four leaf clover a little bit too hard there, and uh, used up all the Shingo luck. Uh, we still got this Shune, so. Oh, just raw dash punch. Okay. Mm. Nice All right, we moving and grooving right now with this confirm. It's the STM. Oh, okay. Guard cancel the maintain position. 
Good punish on the crouch heavy punch. So Marco hasn't, he hasn't gone for DP at all, but he does snipe him with the close key. This is big damage. Goes for a reset, stays in front. Oh, gets that was so dirty. That was Tamago. Dog, why you gotta do him like that? Oh, that was filthy. Yeah, that was gross. Can't see where he's gonna be at. And it's like, it's kind of hard because if you try to roll, he has time to back, you know, to back up and punish him. Is. Will we see a comeback? Mm, 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 mm. Well, All right, Benny Morrow back in effect. Back like he ain't go out of business. Just the air throw. You know, Viona is indeed related to Hydern. Viona is Hydern's daughter. Oh, yeah. Yep, family business over here. Oh. Puts herself off the corner. To throw this is looking scary no nice Get on the other side yep we're going to the next game folks that was two filthy cross-up setups from tamago one with the blue mary one with the benny maro that is oh man good stuff tamago pulling the pocket sand out yeah letting you know it ain't over yet and uh mm -hmm. okay paris and i gonna lock it in i was uh expecting a switch you know shingo didn't really get a chance to play that last game but you know, I respect it. Jump back in there. You obviously had a strong first game. If you can just replicate that, you can definitely keep going on this tournament. Mm. Oh, catch them with the command grab. All right, all right. Nice yeah. punishment. Nice punishment on the landing recovery. Tamago's kind of letting Paris and Lag just hang himself. He's just blowing him up on every single attempt. Oh, through the string. Oh, that could have been huge. What a pity indeed. Shingo oh, trying to find a way to get caught. Oh my gosh. What a setup. I've never seen that setup before. That was incredible. That was crazy great. meaty slide. Even Yurikov's like, what? Yeah, I'm, that's some mm -hmm. new stuff right there. I've never seen that before. Meaty slide, it's a blowback, dog. <laughs> like, what? Brother. <laughs> we definitely X copying our niche. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> Pull out the sharing gun real quick. Let's take that. Oh man. Nice uh, in the air to air there. Tamago getting that control in. Understanding that Peros has been uh, definitely trying to maintain air superiority with these characters and basically all but shutting that down. Yeah, every oh. single attempt. But in the minute he shuts your air post down, he's just going in with the command throws. Yep, but good block there from the good block on the empty jump low from Pero, but. Again, Tamago is one of those players that is going to test you at every single position. Even if you block this particular mix up, I got three more coming. So good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back down to the anchor, Leona, yet again. Not a bar, but you don't want to only spend it on EX uh, Moonside. Before. I say that as he spins it literally every time, but that's okay. Get your damage, right? All right, Pedro trying to get something started here. Not a lot of meter to work with for uh, Tamago, but Tamago not worried. Right. Gosh, yes. <laughs> we, ain't dealing, we ain't dealing with that no more. <laughs> Got another one. It's going to jump again. Nice. Oh. Good block. Not going down without a fight. Uh, most of his damage was literally just EXDPs every single time. Reach for the top. Ready? Oh, and a blowback to get the party started. Oh no, missed the uh, attach the attachment. Yeah, airing a little bit too fast. I think he wanted to delay a little bit, but let's get this confirmed into the shadow strike. Hold up, gonna be good. Yep. Hold up, hold up, Ooh. hold up. Ooh. Wait a minute. Hey yo, oh. you didn't do it. Oh, you didn't on. finish it. Nice. Still gonna be able to get the stun. No, not enough. EXD, How is wake that up. not enough? You oh, it is! Like eight hits. He definitely what? was. What? <laughs> How was that not stuck? <laughs> oh, Finally man. gets it at the end. But uh, yeah, good stuff. That was a nice little uh, nice little sequence there from Paris Alive. That was cute. All right, here we go, folks. Anchor City. 
We rise up or get way down. Let's go. Time will tell. Oh, yeah. Nice. Runs up. Round saber into the follow up. Counter hit. Yeah, it's a little hard to convert for Leona since she's a charge character. Yeah, this should be yeah. it or very close. Yeah, picks the left. Oh my god. There's no, there's no way, dude. No. No. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. You gotta guess. You gotta there's guess. No way. There's no Run way. Up, just DP. Just DP. Just do it. Just do DP. It. No, just DP. Oh, ground saver. No. There, 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 there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I was so scared for a minute. I was like, there's no way he runs his back. Dog. Pero is definitely fighting with his soul right now as Leona comes through to take game number three, making the set count two to one. Oh, oh my gosh. Man, if, if Paris and Lag wins this and goes to grand finals, uh, that would be incredible, right? Because, like, we're showing off right now that this new patch, you know, that's about two weeks old, more than two weeks at this point, we're showing just how good it is, right? We're seeing a, a multitude of characters. Um, it's, it's been great so far. Obviously, we've had a lot of repeats earlier, but to see a shingle this far in the bracket, like, it's impressive. Oh, yeah. Shingo trying to rock, trying to get them Jays to work right now. Those, those are, they can play with like 10s, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not 10s, my bad. 13s, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at the damage. Go front. Part of me does want Pedro to uh, at least get a round with Shingo, because it's so <laughs> funny watching this character, I swear. Yeah, this character's hilarious. Oh, okay. <laughs> What? What? Sunk? what? What is that? <laughs> bro, like, even his combos are comedy. Like, what was that? Hey, bro, you he's thought trying. Something, something way crazy here was coming. Like, he's going to relaunch him and, and do some shingo kick into some crazy stuff. Nah. Just put you further into the ground. <laughs> he's trying. He's trying his very best. <laughs> he's trying his best, okay? <laughs> Ooh, the cross up jump B. We haven't seen uh, the, the EX DP from Blue Mary, uh, the Anywhere Juggle. Not that Tamago has had any chances to really go for it, but it's one of the really cool changes that she did receive in this patch. Oh, mm. here we go with the tick grab. You know, once Blue Mary players start cranking those out, that's when they really feeling it. Oh, good oh, yeah. counter hit. Oh, unable to mount a hit. I see what he's trying to go for, but... If they would have committed to the air dash, they would have actually got the punish. Yeah. I like the movement. I wish I wish we had like a hand cam right now of Peros and Lag just to see. Because I know his hand is all over the place. Got to maneuver with the Shingo. No, I mean with this uh, shooting. That was OD. Wow. That was OD and another one. Very good. What? Hands in the air. I can't even talk right now. Whoa. What? <laughs> what? He got that. Oh, man, that's crazy. He got that. He got that. Oh, that would have that could have been. Ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh, double overhead sneaking in more damage. Another one. Ooh. Rolling through. Yes. Yeah, that's the right punish. Remember that EX Iaido kick is a three frame punish it punishes majority of the moves in the game but Benny needs buffs okay oh, sure. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> I'll be on my death I was doing my death man bro still downplay I'll be in the casket oh, Benny. <laughs> shoot is not strong enough <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> He gets the air throw. All right, Pedro, what you got left in the tank? Tamago's coming with the heat. Oh, oh with the electricity there. right there. Looking like Five Con Edison. Bars. Oh, no. Oh, nice reaction. Oh, beautiful punish there. We need a little bit more. 
Just do it. EX moves Just do it. That's what I was talking about yesterday. I mean, the last game. Just do it. Just do it. Just get him out of there. Ready? Final round. All right. Can you do it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, one too many DPs. And we're going to game five. We're in the home stretch of this loser's finals. Let's see if Parasolax switches up his team. I would run. I'd run it, man. I'd run it. What an amazing tournament. What an amazing tournament. Shout out to all of our competitors tonight. Y'all have been killing it. Y'all have been working extremely hard, putting in the effort, putting in the work, putting in the time, and it absolutely shows here tonight. Everybody has been playing their hearts out, and it's been making for some beautiful gameplay here. Like, all, like just go through the bracket, right? And it's just so many 2-1s. Three twos, right? And even the two O's were were were, were crazy because it was just a constant dog fight until up until the finish. So definitely, definitely appreciate those who put that time in to give us something to watch. Something to watch indeed. We are here in the final final match of this loser's final set. Remember, you have Reno just cold calculated waiting on the winner's side of grand finals. Be meeting his opponent very soon. Right now, it's Mago. Uh, switching up the uh, rotation here, putting mm. Shune at the point. Understanding that Shune was giving him a lot of mileage, but Tamago already prepared for it, it seems. Yeah, he has an answer. Looks like the Shune switch might not be doing what uh, Parasol like wants it to. Okay. It's the air claw. He said, I got to hand it to you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Dies though for his put troubles. it there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, we got Shingo with almost three bars. I right, yet Shingo. to see like a full Shingo combo that like like a, like an actual meter dump combo. I just keep seeing Shingo kick everywhere. <laughs> he's and, got like, great damage. It's just a uh, he's RNG, right? So like you have yeah. to bank on getting those critical hits. Right now, we are getting opened up constantly by this Mary. Oh, almost got the landing with the recovery. Oh, oh, I'm trying to go for it on there, but no dice. Here we go. Get out of there. Yeah, when in doubt, oh, okay. DP's out, but the double hitting close C. And we're down again to the anchor, Leona. Can she do it for an entire team? Because she has to bring this back. She is literally the last hope. Once she goes down, that is it for Peril's tournament run. Battle of the OCVs right now. Sweet. Kind of doing so much. Mm -hmm. Kind of gains the position. Mm. So unfortunate. Tried to capitalize off of blocking the slide there. But that's the thing about Blue Mary. She is able to manipulate those frames and different ranges that makes it real awkward to deal with sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Got the counter hit. Just run it. Oh, <laughs> that's so crazy. But so out of smart. There. I don't have Ugh. to do anything. You have one character left. I have three. I'm not about to give you the game. You're gonna have to take it from me. And Barrow, I guess Barrow hurt me. He's like, all right, all right, all right. I gotta wake up a little bit. Yo, she was out. I never seen somebody book it like that in my life, bro. She had no parts in that corner. But yeah, it, it's it's gonna be very hard to make this come back. He's out of resources um, and really low on health here. So it's gonna be a lot of guesses to get this one. All right, Pedro trying to get something started here, working the guard meter a little bit. Definitely expect Pedro to try to look for a guard break potentially because that's going to be one of the few situations where they actually get something going. Yeah. Oh, and there's a trip. Yeah, one too many legs, but you got to give it up to Paris and Lag. That was a very cool showing. Even in defeat, he's still the people's champ, but Tamago is going to advance, get his run back in the grand finals. And already the odds are shifting in Reno's favor. As Reno is now sitting pretty with 64k collected, Tamago, the underdog in this case, something that you very rarely ever see. For sure, very seldom see, but again, you know, Reno just so dominant. Look at the amount of health he has already taken away from Tamago. 
and it's barely not even the, the 45 seconds into the game so we are still very early into this round here sitting on a bar meets him in the air nice there's that anywhere juggle Mm, Again, what you reaching no for? Skip. No skips, chat. These, these, this, this has been bangers all night. Oh my gosh, this is the track that we get for for grand finals. Let's go! Wow, what a comeback! Yeah, very appropriate right there. We get the Team Orochi theme, or I believe that this that's just Yashiro's theme, but still a very good one indeed. Here comes Isla. Oh. Look at this, every single one he blocks correctly. Good stuff, the XTP and a regular DP. Mago coming to play, but uh, Reno. Mm. He's definitely uh, mashing those two, uh, those down twos, uh, you know, trying to, down two, you hit me NRS boys. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> mashing those two A's, see? Across the story, okay, you love to see it. But um, trying to blow up the slide. But anyways, we're on the next game. We get the super confirm. Ooh, okay. All right, good stuff there. Capitalizing off of the counter hit. Mago maintaining the corner pressure, trying to even up that health, but not a lot of resources. There's in front. Oof. Definitely try not to overcommit here. Hop CDs find the way in, gets the run throw. A little bit of health left. Tamago looking to close this out. Not enough to chip. Not, not fast enough to punish, but the 2C immediately blowing up any type of air approach. Good stuff. All right, Tamago coming away with the good stuff there for sure. 28 seconds on the clock, so gonna get a nice amount of health back. But what does that matter when you got this character on the screen? Uh oh, here we go. No mistakes, no failure. Mm. Fishing for the shadow strike right there, but nobody there. Oh, I think he could have canceled into Sans Colette right there. If I'm not mistaken. I know it's like a super cancel on Flash. Oh, and a bait. That was so good. Mm -mm. Four bars on Reno's side. Three, about to be three for Benny Maru. Yeah, Reno just needs that clean hit for sure. Tamago might be digging his own grave here. If Reno can get a clean hit. Oh, this is good. Huh? One more will definitely do it. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a setup. Oh, what a, what a, Let's go, Reno. Give us a show, you. baby. I was gonna let you rock. I was gonna let you finish that. Good Give us a show. Stuff. All eyes are Give us the blockbuster we've been waiting for. Merely chipping the nail. Good stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to take responsibility for that one because I low key kind of <laughs> set the, the bits in motion. I was like, he might be digging his own grave here. <laughs> he might be digging his own grave here, chat. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Tamago. I'm so sorry. That was my fault. My bad. My bad, bro. Good stuff. Here we go. Going to start the next round. We know looking to start this one. Definitely wants to be the victor here. You do not want this to go to bracket reset. I've seen that happen so many times when the players from losing side just get that momentum, but Reno literally tossing her around like a bag of ice at a cookout. Mm. Definitely gonna need a bag of ice for Blue Mary here, getting hit on the down piece. But uh, Tamago looking to uh, cause some personal injuries of his own. Oh yeah, he's bringing it all the way back here. Didn't have the meter to spend right there, but still. Oh, no! Oh, input error. May have rolled the thumb there when trying to get that forward. That uh, that 6K. Sorry, that 6B. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah. Rare, rare uh, input error from, you know, that's unfortunate. 
Doesn't happen often, but you know, uh, again, it's, it's pretty late in the tournament, right? You know? Yeah, again, gotta get ready, gotta be ready. Teague is setting in. And for those of you watching at home, you know, wondering how these people are able to play all throughout the night, again, it's training everybody. When you're watching those first attends, those first deaths on YouTube, Twitch, what have you, it all leads up to this. This is where that pays off, where you're able to perform at the highest level for hours on end. And that right there is an amazing feat in itself. So both of these players are already gods in their own right for that reason. I mean, exactly. What you mentioned earlier, you know, these players, world-class, right? World-class talent, world-class, uh, you know, trained and versed in the game. So, oh, just like that, right? Was baiting that EX slide the entire time, backdash at the right time and got the punish. Like, what is these wordies games? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are these games? Reno, stop. Ooh, he is so fortunate. It was too far to get anything. Run up DPs? Huh? That was like the most hardest of reads I've ever seen. That is crazy. That was nuts. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I hope you strapped in, Jack, because we got a roller coaster of a ride for you right now. Yeah, that was a very interesting choice there. Like, not sure why he went for it. Like, that was a crazy call out. It's one thing if he had, like, no health, right? And, like, it would have chipped him out or something, but it didn't at all. Well, when you think about it, right, world-class talent equals world-class reactions. At that point, you may have been feeling like, well, if I run up in this person's face, they're going to try to stop. So, you know, Mike went with a quake out of DP real quick, but uh-oh, here we go. We're yep. going for a ride. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Where's Tong at? I need, I need him for this one, because he has to think it on this one. <laughs> Shout out to Tong. Probably hitting that vape somewhere right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, that's big boss, man. Uh -huh. That's a uh, uh, we we established that CEO Taku that uh, Kong is uh, Nino Brown from New Jack City. Yo, <laughs> we're we, we choking people out in the dining room, bro. <laughs> With the dog chain. Oh, I mean, man. you gotta let them know sometimes, you know. Oh my gosh. Right now, Benny Morrow trying to let Tamago. I mean, um, uh, Ash know what's up. Okay, gets to confirm this should be it. Level one into level three. Yep, we're going oh, to game man. three. There it is. Ugh. All right. The test isn't how well you do when everything's going right, but how well you do when everything's being challenged. Right now, Tamago is trying to test Reno's medal as we get a game on the board apiece. Good stuff from both players, though. Reno definitely had a chance to run away with that particular game. But that drop with the Rochi Yashiro definitely set the tone for the rest of the match. It's one of those unfortunate situations. You got to live and learn and let go. Mm -hmm. Move on because we go again. Can't think, can't dwell, just move. Just advance on to the next situation that comes your way. There we go. Oh, that was so good. Again, like you said earlier, Reno doesn't really do that often. So at the times that he chooses to throw that out, it is often at a moment where it, it's almost guaranteed to work. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely agree there. Oh, get a command grab right back at you with the empty mm -hmm. jump low. Tamago with the first character down. Tamago looking good right now. Definitely trying to make this comeback. Trying to secure this win is very possible with the way he's playing. And if, uh, if I remember correctly, Tamago won Combo Breaker from losing, didn't he? Uh, yes, he was no, playing Yuzuru uh, at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, I believe so. I think he did win it from the losing side. Yes, but yeah, so this is this is very familiar territory for him right now. Yeah, I mean, he's no stranger to pressure, right? He's mm -hmm. applying it right now to Reno. You know, trying to find an answer for this Blue Mary, but she is just... Uh, Going crazy. I would call her Red Mary because she's seeing red right now. She's like a bull just holding forward on her opponent. Tech on the throw, not deep enough for the combo, and just like that, stays in her face. Appreciate the corrections. That was the winner. Gotcha. Mm. 
should bring the hype. Yeah. All right. Reno wearing down the offense. Trying to create some of their own. This rock coming at you. Full speed ahead. Fastball special. Gets out of there. Significant damage. Oh my gosh. What defense from Tamago threading the needle. Finding the one gap in the in the whole entire sequence. Capitalizes and in going into the climax. We are here, Rome. It is oh. now. The time has come. It's, it's, it's the cheap stuff. Yeah, it's time to throw it out there. Hands are full of flames. That is plus. <laughs> yes, he needs so that. Silly. <laughs> it's so silly. Uh oh. I don't see them hands extinguishing. Oh no, it's over. It's a new day, baby. And a new patch is on the horizon. And Rock is here to stay. And so are those hands. Oh, yeah. Looking like he's trying to give some hands right here to Reno. Reno's still in this. Can't count him out just yet at all. Another run up throw. Tamago's just sneaking in them run throws every time. Good block on the low. That was almost incredibly hard to see. Oh, what a catch on the jump. Oh, this is so beautiful, Rome. I'm about to cry. Okay. So much neutral. And then also so much robbery at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had to spin the air. Don't know if it's going to be enough. Yo, Pixel. that's crazy. He just rolls out of the EX kiss. And this is Got a throw game. in just for good measure. Yeah. Shades of Guile there. Let's throw it out, right? Mm -hmm. We are at a big health and meter deficit here for Reno. Tamago definitely going to look to play this as uh, simple as he can. Literally anything will do for him. Oh my god, just spinning it. He's, he's cooking right now. Not gonna mm -hmm. overcommit. It is up for Reno to come in, and he does. Yeah, and this is where Tamago shines, right? Where he's able to just control that pace, control the space, and essentially, again, play in that sweet spot where he's able to just maintain that advantage without having to give you much of anything. So definitely a good change there from Tamago as he is sitting on a potential bracket reset. Mm -hmm. And if you've been watching this game as long as I have, you know that grand finals is never over quickly. <laughs> Ever. Oh, yeah. Reno's definitely going to try to do his best to uh, make sure it doesn't go to reset. I don't I don't know if you want to fight a Tamago on reset. The way he's playing, that reset could easily be 3-0, but we got the clean jumping with the cross-up. And I feel like this is the difference maker here, right? The Orochi Yashiro is, the, is setting the tone, and as yeah. long as Reno is able to maintain that momentum, Right, because the the beginning of the end for him was when he had that crucial drop, and you can see that in the previous game, just 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 previous previously, he was already kind of like I wouldn't say rattled, but the 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 sense of urgency was just different. You know, it's kind of mm -hmm. hard to, to to explain it and put it into words, but you knew something was off. And right now, it looks like he's back on because the Orochi Yashiro definitely paid dividends there. Full health, even got a little bit of meter here for EX if he needs it. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I agree with you. And I think this, the story of this set is, can I stop Blue Mary early? Because clearly Blue Mary has been the character for Tamago, I think, putting in the most work. Uh, but Reno looking to, uh, looking to oblige Day with the 2C. Does eat a super confirmed though. Back with Tamago, but mashes through with the 2C. Are we gonna spend it? I'm pretty sure we will, yup. You wanna get as much damage as you can. Uh, oh, Yashiro, one of the best snowball characters in the game. It is so hard to deal with him. Oh, bad back roll, but didn't believe in the punish. Mm -hmm. Wow, the 2C the lost to the hop speed. Is so yeah, it's crazy, right? I was expecting him to win. That cost a lot for Tamago there. 28 seconds, not going to get much health back. Only a bar of meter to work with, and Isla is ready to drain it all. This is going to be extremely difficult for Tamago, but again, Tamago no stranger to pressure. 
Maintain the corner position. Not at all. Another cross cut. He's been so good at landing those. Oh, oh he's and a beautiful and the cross -up jump Yo. Mago is making Reno work for it every single interaction. It is not mm -hmm. coming for free. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's kind of crazy that Tamago was able to build that much real estate for themselves before uh, losing the characters. So that's really, really good stuff there for Tamago because now Benny's sitting on resources, health, and could very easily even this matchup in Tamago's favor. How <laughs> the DP goes straight in the air. No need to guess where she's gonna land. You're Tamago. You want to wrap this up as fast as you can. You're still sitting on three bars. Even though we'd like to save the bar for Ash, she can definitely dish out the damage herself if she gets the hit. So, do not want that to happen at all. Ooh, Ooh, the, the reaction. Yeah, throwing up yeah. the Ari Jenkins. Reno. You know, yeah, Reno. I know. Yeah, Reno. Yep. Reno doesn't care. Oh my gosh, it's gonna get so smooth. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Potentially, I don't know, you might have to commentate this round, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I'm Potentially, chilling. round point. I'm, I'm chilling. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on, Jackal. Keep it together. Gotta keep it together. But just like that, Reno needs to keep his defense together. Got cracked in the head. You cannot let Reno get a touch here. Tamago playing extremely safe right now, and Reno knows it. What's the read? Who DP's cares? Through. I'm just DP. Ooh, X kiss. And a block. Tamago's playing patiently. Two bars on him. Not even going to attempt to EX slash through. Jump D. That's it. Wow, reset. what a beautiful check. Yo, oh what my gosh, Tamago. Tamago. Playable. In Tamago. the building. Tamago, if I wake up tired, I'm blaming you, bro. <laughs> Dog, like. <laughs> I got work in the morning, Tamago. How man, dare you like, man, you, so you know. Do that. I'll like, dare you. I, 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 I had a feeling, but like. You know, real talk, I was expecting Tamago to be a winner. Mm. Not the other way around. So this, now so we're cool. in the real, see, like, this honestly has to be the best timeline because we yeah. just got to see a world-class 3-1, mind you, 3-1 reset from, from Tamago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cannot crack the egg. You got to, you got to pull in a little more work. Yeah, speaking of work, looks like uh, Isla's coming back off the bench to do some work. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, regular Yashiro. Uh, we're going to bench Ash Crimson. Not a bad idea. I mean, Ash really didn't get a chance to do much that last set unless he was spending meter for Sans Colette. Outside of that, he was losing. So I don't blame yeah, it at all. Uh, Fight fire no. with fire, but here we go. Bracket reset. Uh, we are down to 0-0 zero, zero for both players here. Fat L's by their names, but they can only be one. Oh, yeah. We got all the chest out tonight as we got the double C's. Yep, get out of here. Those shenanigans won't work on me. Nice, good anti-air with the stand B. Oh, no conversions here. Ooh, okay. All right, looks like we're officially in gorilla mode, folks. Yep, I mean, here we go. The here biggest gorilla in the world, it's right? Happening. It's happening. Working them. Orochi Yashiro, I mean, uh, regular Yashiro on plane is such a good character, too, right? Just because he deals with your opponent not really having resources. You kind of go crazy and hop on them. Yeah, Reno definitely trying to get that set back. Definitely not happy with having to reset. Nice jump A. Battle of Attrition here, 10 seconds left. Gotta go for another trip. Meets him in the air with the jump C. Good stuff. All right, here we go, folks. This is about as ugly as it gets right now. Blue Mary trying to fight off this Isla who has three and a half bars. That's a good start. 
like sizable. The cross up jump, geez. It doesn't happen often, folks, but when it does, you can expect crazy damage and a chase down. Okay, Tamago. Oh my gosh, Tamago, you are insane. Oh, dog. I guess the throw on Reno runs out again. God. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I did everything I had to do. Yeah, I did everything yeah. I had to do. It's over. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have to do nothing. <laughs> Just booking it for her life. And remember, folks, when you have the lead, keep the lead. Don't give it up trying to trying to style, trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. Just get out of there. Yeah, just get out of there. And get out of dodge. He's in front again. He's been so cheeky at that. So good at just hitting that every single time. He's like no one is ready. And it seems like Tamago is just steadily gaining pressure, steadily gaining ground. Just again, foot on the gas. No sign of slowing down in sight. Marino. I would have said too, bro. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I believe. Okay. Like, fair enough, fair you, enough. You, you, you don't have to do it. <laughs> All right. Four bars. Got a decent amount of health. But now we got somebody who got a decent amount of ball, a decent amount of buttons. Yeah, decent buttons. You want to see decent buttons? I got you. Oh, Hold no. my drink. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I felt okay. that scream. Oh, that that just that sounded like that hurt. Oh, that could have been a crazy with funny. Mm -hmm. Nice, just goes through right there. Goes enough for the bar. Not gonna spend it. Next one will definitely do it though. Oh, sneaks in. Forget uh, Orochi Yashiro's uh, level three. Never mind. Actually, she's gonna. I was gonna two bars. Spin two. Yeah, spin two. Spin two. Spin two. No! one. Oh, the combo. No, no, this must be enough. No, this is enough. This is enough. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Reno mm. fighting back. I was gonna mention that Orochi Yashiro's climax is a. Uh, when you do it raw, it's a counter hit. Uh, so we could very well see that get busted out. No, no way! No way! There's no way! There's no way! There's no way! He's not dead, but is very you close gotta to be, it. You gotta be kidding me! Very, very close to it. What? No. Yo, no. the bomb! Oh, Batista bomb into the ground. Oh. oh my God! I didn't know what that was. Oh, oh Tamago clutching it out. Oh my god, you gotta feel for Reno there. Reno fought so yeah. hard. What a Bro, fight. he fought so hard for that comeback. Winner! Oh, oh with another point on the board. Damn, Diamond throws hurts more than yours? Wow. Wow. Oh my God! Mm. OMG! Round <laughs> one, ready? Go! Insane I stuff! I can't! I can't! I can't believe that! You do like this that? every week, bro? <laughs> somehow, somehow this happens every week. <laughs> Dog, that's crazy! Oh my gosh! What is? What are these matches? What are these games? Nothing like KOF on a Tuesday. We gotta gotta give a shout out again to TNS for just being able to put on this production so we can have matches like this. All right. Reno definitely felt the sting of that last match, trying to get it going once again. Anybody's game. A bar piece. Okay. Wow, what a response. Yeah, just Max it out. Range. That was beautiful stuff there for Reno. Great awareness. Going up to 6B. Nice. Okay. Oh, they are just pressing buttons on the way down. We are trading. Oh, he's oh. in front. He gets the throw. 15 seconds on the clock. Reno's going to run away immediately. Look for a trade situation. 
Mm, that's that. Yeah, yep. good block there. But you're seeing it, right? These matches are so intense. We have multiple rounds between these two where it was literally 10 seconds or less. And that is tough. That's 10 KO web seconds. <laughs> that's a very long time. Yeah, like that's crazy. Ooh. Get it in the air. Anything to do with this point? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I like doing that to people. Mm. Bring back old memories, huh? <laughs> I'm saying, not the good type either. <laughs> like, oh, you thought I was done, huh? <laughs> oh, rolls into the fireball. Be like, what? He converted that in super, bro. All right. <laughs> Oh, you just you just quick it's like a quick glimpse at the meter you see two bars like oh here we go right right like he got that bro get out of here oh my gosh Mago getting it in three bars to spin how much cash will he use in the corner carry Love the oh, delay yeah. yeah. oh, oh no, fix your hair, son. Look a little sloppy. Definitely cracked the wig, busting it wide open. Mm -hmm. Oh, try to catch the roll. Afraid? Mm. Try to force it down. Okay, he does get it then, and he's gonna spend it. SDM, this should be enough, and it is. There's that Orochi Yashiro again coming in, yeah, locked no. and loaded with all that meter. I love that for Tamago because Tamago already understands the assignment. Tamago is like, nope, you did this last time and you got away with it for a little bit, but now, no more, no more. Every that's three for three on anti airs on this Orochi Yashiro. Yeah, he's been ready. We're, we're gonna count that one. Trades count two, because that means no conversion, no pressure. Mm -hmm. Just resets. Uh oh. But in the corner, it's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> Find his way out, misses the anti air low. Oh, just a frame trap, but yeah. yeah. Reno's very fortunate that he wants a fireball and not an elbow instead, but. Uh oh. It, could get ugly really quickly. Five bars on Reno's side. Two for Benny Morrow. He's going to need about two to three confirms to do this. Reno only needs two. Yeah, this is going to get real interesting. Yeah, Reno trying to whittle that help now, understanding that he has those five bars to play with. Utilizing that stand B. Good conversion there from Tamago, but it won't be enough. The spacing from Tamago was crazy. Oh, try to go for the hard read off the 5B. Tamago says, no, thank you. You've seen this. You've seen this movie before. Yep. Yeah, Tamago doing such a good job. EXDP not enough. What the oh. DP once again, Tamago. And the whiff punish. Tamago is crazy right now. 2-0, commanding lead over Reno. We might see the character switch. We might see the Ash Crimson come back in. Chad is saying it. They say, we need Ash. But Reno says, no, I'm going to lock it in. Tamago on a four-game win streak right now. Looking to close this out and make it a smooth five. Round one. Ready? 3 0 after the reset. That's a. <laughs> what a way to insert your dominance, right? Uh, it's demon time, baby. Remember, world class champions here, world class heroes. Hands off. Hmm. Oh, she says that. <laughs> or is it World Heroes? I forgot the name of that game. <laughs> no, you're right. World Heroes here. Yep. <laughs> world Heroes. Perfect. That's my joint. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. That's another game with some fire soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Bring back, bring back Mud Man, bro. Do with the mask. Going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Tamago going crazy. Jump over it. Yes, as we get Bossy Joe, thank you so much for the $50 direct contribution into the match, you know, and I believe that will push us over into a hundred plus dollars and we get it. Yeah, a hundred and thirty-four fifty. Thank you so, I think you want better. so much. Oh, yeah. Dig it. 
Oh man. Like the, it starts off so so well, right? Like you looking at this, and it's like, man, these cats are real evenly matched. And then Tamago just starts running away. He's like, you know, what if I just don't deal with this? Oh! The one time he went for the DP and Reno had it scouted and baited it out. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Yeah. Amago is 90% with specifically the DP anti airs, dog. That is incredible consistency. The, um, the the level of reactions that you have to have to pull it off that consistently because Reno is not making this easy. Mm -mm. No, not he at all. He is changing up his timings every opportunity he gets. And Tamago is just waiting in the wings, just waiting there. Another anti-air. Gets him again. This has to be incredibly oh. frustrating for Reno right now. Is Marino fights back. He's gonna get the super confirmed. Go to the hard knockdown. One more guess here. <laughs> what? Bro, he, he just does, does not care. <laughs> he just does oh not God. care. Every single time Tamago has busted out with a DP. And he has been right every single time. And it's it's getting more and more frequent, which is the scary part because you see you saw Tamago earlier. Tamago was a lot more conservative. You saw it with the Kyo playing outside those ranges, not really throwing out anything wild or crazy unless the situation really suggested it. But now, like you said, he's just letting them fly. Like this, letting her fly to the sky. Tamago, perfect game and one more away from winning this whole tournament. Soul Murder, Murder Burger, excuse me. Thank you so much for the subscription. All right, here we go. Potential tournament point here for Tamago. I mean, tournament point here for Tamago. Reno literally just fighting to stay alive. Yeah. Just to, just to secure himself a, a second chance at life, right? Yes, Reno having to play near perfect for the next three games. Mago just doing such a good job cutting off that screen. Just me stopping any approach, but he's gonna advance now. Okay, gets the trade. Oh, he is so fortunate that that was max range on a 2B. Oh, here we go. And this is where Tamago shines, where he's able to play that range right there, that, that sweet spot where he can just maintain that position. Mm -hmm. Taking very little risk here. Yep, there you go. Oh, oh, nice response. No. Oh, oh, no. And that is not good. He is going to possibly give up the game here. That is going to be climax cancel. Reno stays alive. He does. That was so crazy. Tamago did not expect him to go for a DP in that situation. Maybe like an ES command throw, but wow. Insane. Oh. My goodness. For the person in chat asking when's the next major, wow, I'm glad you asked. We have two majors this weekend. Lunar Bout is going to be in New York City. It's going to be a very strong tournament, as well as Thunderstruck, which is going to be in Mexico. And guess what? Both those tournaments are qualifiers for the SNK World Championships. And in case you all forgot, don't forget East Coast Throwdown is right on the horizon as well. So please be please be sure to check that out as well. EC Throwdown on Twitter. Oh yeah, lots of KOF action and multiple games coming at you. But we are focusing on the KOF right here because we're here. We are in the grand finals. Tamago with the reset, and it is now two one over Reno. All right, Dash punches his way through. That's what Yashiro wants to do, just fight his way out the corner. But Tamago's just gonna keep him down here, lock him in. Oh, I like it. I love it. Nobody is committing to anything. Ooh, the weight. Gonna blow up into the level one super. Yeah, go ahead and get that not good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, just jumping. Dark Age is getting low. 
Wow, and caught Tamago on the back end. And Reno staying alive here, making these changes that he needs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I can't talk. <laughs> I just, I can't talk, man. I have to, I need to, but I just want to sit here and watch this play out however it's going to play out. This match has been absolutely insane. Chat, I know you are sitting here entertained. I know you are feeling this KOF right now. Quick super cancel from Reno. Oh my God, Reno is getting so much mileage out of this point, Yashiro. Not enough. But Tamago is on the back end here in this situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reno tried to go for the uh, DP. It's the guard point, but there, there it is. Elbow finds its way, and he chips him out. Very good. But it came at a heavy cost. Again, Mago had to grind that matchup out a lot. Looks like the rotation change here for Reno is paying dividends, putting the uh, regular Yashiro in the front, the Roshi Yashiro in the back. I was thinking of that meme where it's like my hands look like this or her hands could look like this, but it's uh, it's Isla and Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, nice and higher. Tamago mm. uh, on the back end has the meter to do it. Oh, defense there. All right, here we go. Mago oh, finding his sweet spot. Understanding that he has the health lead and the meter advantage. Too far. Oh, oh wow, what a drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Spin the bar, spin the cash. Yes. But we're back, <laughs> back where we are, back where we left Jackal. It is down. Tamago is on tournament point. Reno again with the close to four bar Yashiro. And uh, it's definitely going either way for both players here. Yep. And again, Reno utilizing that tried and true strategy, using those light buttons there to just chip away at the health. Make sure to try to get Tamago just irritated enough, just uncomfortable enough to make that one crucial mistake. But it's looking like it's not going to happen as Tamago is spending all the resources to make this a reality. And oh my goodness. Oh my God. Reno. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Okay. Cross cut DP for the win. Tamago is your TNS 71 Le Champion. I was going to say though for a minute because I was like, why didn't he spend the EX uh, meter on that DP? And I thought he was going to get haunted, but. Crisis of Earth. Yeah.